Hi, YouTube! Hello? Hello, YouTube. Not only psychos do press conferences. Yeah, this year they're a little better. I'm, <laughs> no, I'm only here to find out when episode two of, Har of, of Armchair History comes out. Well, you're in luck. It's already been scripted and everything. What you're not in luck is that it's been scripted for two weeks and I, I, still, haven't, I still haven't done it with all the moving and everything. But when, when we get settled, I get back ahead on YouTube videos and stuff because we fell behind on that for a little bit. Then we're going to record it. All right, then we're going to record it. That That's the secret. That's the secret. I love you too, Aiden. I love you too. Everybody out there that's here, that's got the bacon next to their name, that's what it's all about. I do them because you do them. Am I a simp? Yes. Are you looking forward to the spectacle of the Super Taza Candido de Oliveira, right? We start today with the Super Cup. Okay, we've got the Super Cup to tomorrow. It's a nice event to have. Uh, I feel ambitions are matched. We faced them twice in the same week. Cool, sick, love it. You won the last three matches against Bragas. Sort of run important. Can you keep it going? Gives us confidence. Absolutely. Absolutely, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely. Braga tomorrow in the Super Cup. Wow, yeah. Shaba Lutre, thank you for the two months. No Vulo, outrageous 15 months. Thank you for that. Butcher, thank you for the two months as well. You're collecting that bacon. You're also about to cook, uh, to cook it. I bring the bacon from the south of France. Thank you so much for your amazing food and your generically superior culture and your wine. South of France is where the wine comes from. Geography champion, holding strong, baby. Holding strong. Quintuple incoming? Yes. That's what it's all about. Anyone watch Spain Argentina basketball today? No. I was busy watching Sony Lee win the all around gold in women's gymnastics. Yeah! Sony Lee! Sorry. Got a little carried away with that. Yeah, that happened. Dude, I'm so freaking pumped for her. You gotta get, oh, the Olympics fires me up, man. The Olympics fires me up. Suni Lee winning the gold. <sighs> so if you don't know, women's all around individual final gymnastics, you know, jumping and splits and balance beams and bars and vaults and such. Uh, the United States won its fifth consecutive I uh, all around title, even though Simone Biles was sitting out, Suni Lee acquired the dub. She went off. It was awesome. I watched the rugby sevens final Fiji one. I did not, but shout out to Fiji. The US was looking pretty hot in the rugby. At least one, the one time I saw it on the TV here, uh, the one time I saw it on the TV here, the US was actually winning a game and I was like, ooh, cool. What are your thoughts about Thiago Almeida to uh, Atlanta United? I hope it ends up working out for him, right? I hope it ends up working out for him. That's it. Which one do you prefer, commentating a World Cup final or commentating the UCL final, World Cup final? 100 times out of 100. A thousand times out of a thousand. A million times out of a million. I would do the World Cup final instead of the uh, the Champions League final. That if you had If you had to choose, you got to broadcast one game. You were the voice of one game. One game. Which one do you choose? I'm going World Cup final every time. That might not be everybody's answer. Isn't New Zealand the best in rugby? New Zealand's the best in rugby. Rugby sevens is different. It's like a shorter game. Obviously, there's only seven people. Super Bowl or World Series? World Series is seven games. I'll do that. Super Bowl, you only get one game. Preferably both. Who 
Excited about the possibility of having the first Portuguese player in the NBA? Who is that? That's awesome. I didn't know Portugal was uh, playing. Nima skins on track to be first Portuguese player in the NBA. Last Friday, Utah State center Nemus Kinta had 11 points, 13 rebounds. Um... Okay, so, oh, this dude's gonna get drafted, basically. Cool. Welcome to the league. What are you munching on, legend? I just say bagel with strawberry cream cheese. I'm feasting on it. Zan Throden. Thank you for the gift and sub. I appreciate it, my dude. This dude's already 21 years old. How could he possibly be good enough to be around my team? He could he's never gonna be good enough. Alright. Just look at his age, okay? Just look at his age. He's 21. He's he, he sucks. My grandmother's faster than him. Alright, vibe, vibe switch. Vibe switch. I don't need to go that hard. It's pretty early in the morning in Indianapolis. I don't need to go that hard. I'm just, just want to drink my water. I want to get through this scouting report and then I want to go super hard in the Super Cup final. Omar. Ah, Rob. Okay. He's got five letters in his last name and three of them are A. This dude really wants to be at the front of the line. It's not a bad goalkeeper either. Oh, only 58 million? Sheesh. Wow. Signing. The signing that would be. Only 58 million? It's unbelievable. Uh, Zico. You sound like a disease. Clay? Nope. Unless Zico's like your nickname if you're good then it sounds really cool done with that yeet it out of here we portugal also won the judo bronze medal in the olympics and what weight aren't there like an incredible number of weights for judo or is it like team judo which would be that would be cool you're probably talking about teen judo Hey Z, coming for your YouTube channel. Love the content. Can you catch me up where you're at in the save at the moment? Uh, we. <laughs> we. Let's see. We started in the fourth division, semi pro. We are now in the first division. We have won the top league title the last two years by a grand total of one point. We won it by one point last uh, two years ago, and then last year. We won it on like a tiebreaker that wasn't goal difference. Now all the Portuguese that don't follow basketball will demand he wins all the trophies, as is their right. The 100 kilogram section of Royal Rumble Judo. Yeah, well, there is like a, there is team judo, but it's like you wrestle the other team. It eat, you like fight the other team at each weight or something. There is definitely team judo, though. They were talking about it when I was watching the uh, the judo. You know, I watch the judo. I'm cultured. Okay. I'm cultured. Yeah, Kosovo won a gold. Kosovo won a won a gold medal. Then they won it, weirdly enough in judo and that's the judo that i was watching so i am uniquely well equipped to tell you about one of kosovo's two medals because i i freaking watched it mauricio centurion cool glad we could finish that gi just ginormous wall of scouted people pants face thank you for the two months on the Twitch Prime. Agan McFly, thank you for the 100 bits as well, my dude. San Marino won its first ever medal today. I saw. I follow a uh, a Twitter account for the San Marino national team, and they were fired up about the San Marinese medal 
I'll leave this here and I have to go back to work. Thank you, Egan McFly. I appreciate that. Shout out to Ireland with the golden rowing. Really? You see the Olympics baseball bullpen car? I haven't, I haven't seen that yet. But, but I, uh, I hope I will. I've struggled to watch the Olympics, honestly, this year. I love the Olympics and I watch it really aggressively, like in my, in my daily life. But I, uh, I just have struggled to watch this Olympics. It's the time. And I feel like a lot of the stuff's happened at like seven in the morning, you know? Australian golden slalom canoe. You ever watch that? Looks like the most exhausting sport of all time. Water polo. Water polo is definitely on the list of Olympic sports that, like, I definitely really enjoy. Wa I, won't, I won't seek it out outside of the Olympics. I definitely really enjoy watching it. How about the Philippines giving 550,000 euros in a house to their medal winner? I mean, when you're a nation of 100 million people and you've never won a gold medal, I am down to try anything to figure that out. I mean, that country's a third of the size of the United States, population-wise. Philippines is. Right. And the U.S. just rakes medals. Now, obviously, the U.S. has built up this very large infrastructure to just, like, straddle the Olympics. Right? Like, we, every Olympic, every sport that's an Olympic sport, we just throw money at and give people every opportunity to be good at. But when you're a nation of 100 million people and you've never won... You've never won... a gold medal. I am willing to try anything so they're saying that we should keep Bruno Gama as vice captain I agree there's probably nobody better than him but at the same time this is our last season with Mabasso and Gama as our two is our two captains I think the year next year after this Nikolaus Katsikis is quickly going to become a uh a contender I think Matias or Lamine Fall are going to be around. Buiz and Philander's got solid leadership. He's somebody that, as he gets older, is going to be around. Jose Almeida is okay as well. But I think right now we, we stay with the same lot going into the Braga match. The day of, we have to make that decision. <laughs> hey, Z, first time on your stream. What's up, Shrez? I hate the Olympics because of FM. I would like steal your players. What's your favorite obscure Olympic sport? Um, it depends on your definition of obscure, I think. In terms of sports that I, I definitely randomly get into during the Olympics, big fencing guy. Uh, I, I learned fe when I worked for NBC for the 2016 Olympics, I learned fencing. Like I learned like, you know, what you were supposed to do, what fencing is supposed to look like, uh, how you win, right? I had somebody explain it to me in detail. And ever since you have, ever since you have that, you understand it, you can watch it and you can get into it really easily. And so probably fencing. Uh, but there's a lot of different, there's a lot of different sports that I, I mean, just whatever is on. Right? Whatever is on, when I turn the TV on, I'm into it. Right? I love the swimming. I think swimming's great. The runs are great. That's not obscure. The archery is just banging. I will watch any Olympic sport. There is no Olympic sport that I turn on and I'm like, no, nah, get this off my screen. Okay, get it off. Literally zero. You can put on the dressage. And I'm gonna be sitting there like, oh my god. Oh, look at the look at the Swede! Look at the Swede! What a ride! Like, I'm just gonna be losing my mind, right? Look at the way that horse is trotting. I just love I, I just love sports. I love good sports. I love dramatic sports. I've always said a good field hockey game is better than a bad like football game. Except when I say that, I'm talking like American football. 
A good sport is a good sport. The Olympics always provide good competition in just a boatload of random sports. We're just selling this guy. We signed him for our B team, but somebody came in with a $60,000 offer for him. Speed walking? Oh, curling. Oh! Curling is sick. Dude. Curling is awesome. You ever just watch cur the US won gold in men's curling and it was hilarious. It was like five drunk dudes from Wisconsin. It was awesome. Only 37 more days until my Gators play football again. Thanks for making the last three months of the off season bearable. Also, I'm not sure we want Bama. Nobody's ever sure they want Bama number 95, but it's worth a shot. Thank you for the three months and congrats on cooking your bacon. Hey, by the way, uh, the Gain Gainesville's new uh, sports guy, Josh Miller, is a good friend of mine. He was in my Syracuse class. He's now doing sports for one of the Gainesville stations. So check him out. Say hey for me. Edit Life, thank you for the tier one. Welcome to the Hammers as well. And Pants Face again, thank you for the two months. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> curling is awesome. Curling is so fun. Like, good game of curling. I know it's like the sport that you make. You're like, oh, it's so boring. They're throwing rocks on ice. One, it's really hype. Okay. High pressure. The stakes are crazy. They're talking trash. Like, oh, what a sport. Handball is great. Yeah, they just don't put it on TV here at all. Because the U.S. does not play it. Like, my friends and I have a... have a. So, if you host the Olympics, right, you get to enter a team in every competition, even if you don't qualify. If you didn't know that, now you do that. So, Japan gets a team into every single competition, even if they don't qualify. Or an athlete. Like, their best person at that sport gets in. The U.S. does not play handball. So, my theory is the next time the U.S. hosts the Olympics, I get all my friends together and, like, form the U.S. handball team, and we just get to go to the Olympics. That's our That's my working theory. We're going to do it. It's it's quite honestly, it's a bulletproof plan, and I have no idea uh, how you could find a flaw in it. Oh, another Juninho. How original. <laughs> uh, Eduardo Antonio, 18-year-old fullback from Atletico Monero. Nice. There already is a U.S. handball team. Well, clearly they're not good enough. What about marathon triathlon? I mean, yeah, I'll watch it if it's on. I don't. It doesn't get like an enormous amount of hype in the U.S. Because the U.S. is usually like track and field and, uh, you know, swimming, gymnastics. Those are like, but like artistic gymnastics, not rhythmic. See, I had, I, I've watched a lot of rhythmic gymnastics in my day as well. And it doesn't get shown on TV a lot, but I had to log it for NBC in 2016. I was one of the rhythmic gymnastics people because, I mean, just look at this face. It screams rhythmic gymnastics aficionado. And so I show up and they put me on rhythmic gymnastics for a while. And, uh, yeah, it was interesting. It was interesting. Eastern Europe's really good at it. Like, really, really good at rhythmic gymnastics. And so, it was fun to watch. The U.S. is just terrible at it. All right. The, the, I have a very, very fluid bench situation here with a lot of dudes that could be on this bench. And so, how do I want to do this? Uh, a year or while, if you're going to get the start, Matias is not up 100%, and we've got a million guys who can play these roles. So, Clabinio moves up here. We're going to want to be able to see this game out. So, I think a an Ala Amra, Carbajal, Clabinio, Heshin is an unlocking player. Arias is an attacking player. Saad Abdul Amir Jassim, Borges. I don't think we're going to need a Buizan Philander off the bench. Okay, uh, Jose Almeida is also our our choice player in that situation now. We really need to sell Carlos Arias. I don't think he fits into the team anymore, but we, we can sort that out after this match. 
Right now, we are just trying to win the Super Cup. Okay, people, we are trying to win the Super Cup. The Super Cup. All right, there we go. There we go. There we go. And Pereira and Silva, and we are set on both sides. No, we're not. I thought we were set on both sides, but then we weren't. Dastardly. Dastardly. Isgrin, Barrientos, Silva, Coralainen, Cerna, Mabasso. Now we're set on both sides. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Super Cup time. Clap it up. Ow. What are your thoughts on changing tactics this season? It's definitely something we're going to explore. Um, I think we need to have a, a couple of tactics available uh, to choose from because we've improved our quality. We're not very, we're not strike. We went to this tactic because we were really striker heavy, really striker and attacking midfielder heavy. Uh, and we're not necessarily that anymore. We've got more options available to us. Relax and play your natural game, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our moment. Should be a great occasion out there today. Fans are excited and I'm looking forward to it. Yep. Um, apparently I beat this guy like every time I play him, the manager. Let's get the job done today. Just want to say I'm new to football manager. been watching your videos and past streams to help and they've all been very entertaining. Thank you for your help, Connor Chandler. I'm glad. I have been able to help my dude. Thought process behind the center forward on the left. Uh, the roam from position uh, helps them get into the, the, that freelancing helps them get involved in the channel in that side of the field a lot more. The advanced forward keeps the pressure more specifically on the back line. And the center forward doesn't run into anybody. He's got free reign over there. Like right now. Silva, here he goes. Mabasso. Ah, it's all right. That's a good start. We're making a good start here. Bebelchenia, thank you so much for the two months on the prime. This is what we need to get on the road to a quadruple. We have to win this game. Uh, Silva. Good header. Skin the box, Hansi. Any tips on how to get the jerseys to appear for me in the game? It shows so I'm looking at the team profile, but not in the game. No, I've never really messed with the, the kits before. That's not something that I'm super familiar with, unfortunately. exactly been prolific. We've been better than them. Come on, Ansi. Okay. Deep breath. Bruno Gama. Bruno. God see. <sighs> Can you get much closer to the goal than that? Is it possible? Is it legal? Is it legal? I 
Do you think Pat Sadaka will surpass or match the likes of Sadio Mane in his Premier League stint? That's a very high bar to set. Sadio Mane's had a brilliant Premier League career already. That's a very high bar to set. How accurate is Matt? I, so will I say probably no? I like him, but probably no. How accurate is match rating to the actual performance level of the player? I would say 90, 95% of the time is the only thing you need to look at when it comes to how well the player is played. Yeah, I'm not happy. Obviously, we've been the better team, but yeah, we got 45 minutes to score or else we're going to end up going to penalties because it's a Super Cup and there's no extra time. Oh, he's... Uh, turn! Turn! Turn towards the goal, you indignant swine. Yay! I'd have had enough of this. I've had enough of this tomfoolery. Um, Mabasso off. Saad Abdul Amir Jassim in. Uh, Pereira off. Borges in. Jason Serna off. He Shin in. Should I look for a ch I should look KZ. for a Hope change. the move went well. Let's go, ODFC. Let's go, ODFC. That's Carl Lainen. This is he Shin. Carl Lainen going nuts. Jason Serna going nuts. Uh, yeah, you like a sick little thr a sick little thruple change right here in the 58th minute. There's no extra time, so we throw it. We stand. I'm going to win this in regulation. They're not really pushing forward. Let's go. Oh, good ball. Borges is in. Yes. Let's go. This pass is elite. That is an elite pass right there. Took it hard with the left foot. Enrique Borges scores what we hope to be the winner. We'll stay in this until the, uh, it's probably the 75th. Mm, 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 mm. Zhao Silva. Foxy Minx turned down the $82 million move to DL Pro in China. Uh, okay, good job, boys. Great work. Great work, guys. Excellent job. Way to hold on to that lead. We did brilliant work you guys are amazing i'm so proud of you way to hold on to that lead right there way to follow that run way to play some defense great work great work way to hold on to that lead you guys were amazing so <sighs> Thoden, thank you for the gift of the lumberjack gordo and borges is in again thank you okay Let's try and chill a little bit, right? Let, let, we, like, let's just take a moment and let's chill. Let's go with the dilp. All right, let's get a dilp involved. All right, now now we can just relax a little bit. Everybody, everybody take a chill pill, okay? We're going to go inside, forward, off the right, on attack. Saad Abdul Amir just seems on support. Daher going to the wing back, okay? We're going to go fairly narrow, but life is good. All right, life is good. And we're going to chill. Most importantly, everybody take a deep breath. And we are going to chill and we're going to win this game. I always had faith, chat. I always had faith. Did, did, didn't you have faith? Come on. You had faith when they scored? I <laughs> feel the freaking replay of the highlight comes like starts from the kick. He's Shin dropping dimes. Enrique Borges, what a finish. What a finish by Enrique Borges. What a way to start the season from a man who's, who's oh my God, how is there, there's three consecutive highlights starting off of the, the kick. Three consecutive highlights starting off the, the ensuing kickoff.
you step to that is not a good pass and that is also not a good pass when we're you know not pushing the ball up the field at all What are we doing? Okay. What are we doing? Defend. There we go. Turn. Why? 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 Yeah, like it was like a four on two if you just ran. You going to make Carolina go get it? That's the laziest play I've ever seen in my life. Oh, Jasim. Oh my God, what a play! <laughs> Boris with the hat trick. Sad Abdul Amir Jasim. The shakes, the bakes, and the ball. Boris hat trick. We salute you, good sir. For your contributions to our society. Uh, yeah, I think Enrique Borges just earned himself some more playing time. So did he, Shin. So did uh, Jasim. Oh, dude, don't don't do that while I'm praising you. That doesn't help. Uh, nope. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Borges again? Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, in 2031, Portuguese Super Cup champions, ODFC. It was a perfect hat trick, yes. Lift it! Yeah! yeah! Ole, ole, ole! Come be yours! Come be yours! Ole, ole! Sorry. A little. What carried away? What a, what a, it, Enrique, you dog, Enrique Borges. The play was a perfect hat trick. Left foot, right foot header. Three goals off the bench. Off the bench. Not to mention that there was that, there was a minute where three goals were scored. 63rd, 64th, and 64th minute. That's when those goals were scored, by the way. Yes, something of a master stroke, bringing on in Borges as a substitute and reaping the almost immediate reward. I'm very pleased how it obviously. I'm very pleased how it all came together. 63rd, 64th, 64th. Nothing to see here, boys. Completely normal game. Well, that was the uh, debut for Saad Abdul Amir Jassim. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Enrique. Borges is undoubtedly a key factor. Very happy uh, for him and what he did today. Can you talk about your relationship with Jose Barros? Uh, I don't know. I respect him as a head coach. I mean, he gets his team to play well, but, uh, you know, I don't know. And nor do I need to. I already know the best coach in, uh, I already know the best coach in Portugal. This guy. Right here. Up top. Okay. There we go. We're living. First of many, hopefully... A great signing. Assad is, I mean, he had a loan last season. He was one of the best dribblers in the league. Love when you're uh, going around the field with the trophy. The goalkeeper always randomly does a cartwheel. Hey, that's what it's all about. You know what? You know what really makes my day is that that uh, goalkeeper doing a cartwheel. Somebody actually had to do that in like a motion capture setting. They're like, hey, can you do a cartwheel for us? Fred the Farmer. Thank you for the eight months as part of the Hammers. 
Thank you for the prime and looking forward to that Twitch child next month. Thanks for spending five bucks of Bezos money. And Riddy, thank you for the two months on the Twitch prime. Back in the hammers with Jeff Bezos money. And one month away from cooking some bacon. Mr. SCJ180, thank you for the five months as well in the prime. Hope the move went well. Let's go ODFC. It did go well. And uh, ODFC is going well. And ODFC is going well. Scott Johnston. He's obviously okay. Thomas Kalusek. The Czech center back, who is not very good. Has serious adaptability concerns, and that's that. Off the short list you go. Jason Sweeney just moved again. 21-year-old Irish player moving from... RB Leipzig to Atalanta for a fee of 9 million. So we sold him for 11. He played 30 matches with a 7.15 and they sold him for less. How does that make any sense? Whatever. What ever. You guys are doing some terrible business. He just had a really good season. We just got $90,000 though. So that's pretty sweet. This friendly, we're just going to play all backups, try and get them some fitness. That's why it's there. Uh, we have Miguel Zubalaga look up, if you remember that. Miguel Zub, oh, he's a free agent. No way. Where do we, where do we sell him to? We sold Zubalaga for 2.5 million to Olympique Marseille, where he made a grand total a grand total of four appearances. Played a lot for Marseille too, and then they just released him. Yeah, we do really good business here. We do very, very good business. You Portuguese, yep. No, not even close, honestly. Uh, but Miguel Zubalaga did not do well there, but you know where he did do well? ODFC, Miguel Zubalaga. That's right. 23 appearances to 6.63 one year as a forward. Scored zero goals in the next season. Nine appearances and two goals. Uh, and all of a sudden, he was an explosive goal scorer. And then, then and then we sold him. And that was it. It was very exciting. He was, he was you know, obviously remembered fondly by, by Alfold, who wanted to look him up. But that was that. How's the internship and, uh, going in all the meetings? Great. Great, I, I, I'll be heading into the station once I finish the stream today and it, it works out really well. We're gonna be able to stream and make videos in the morning and work in the afternoon and the evening. It's perfect. Uh, Popsy, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime in the four months, my dude. Welcome back and only two months away from getting that silver bacon. You're, you're, on, you're well on your way. Just tuned in, has anything significant happened? Oh, you know, we want a freaking trophy. Wow. That's it, we want a trophy. Nothing, nothing huge though. Just another day at the office for the boys. Pavel Tokarski be one of the better players in the first team. Yeah, I kind of disagree with that. He'd be like one of our strikers. And he's also so highly valued. Innocent Masuale. Ziga Stankovic. Started scouting him? Good. Started scouting. Started scouting Ilya Rostevsky. We already know that his potential is not as high as some people might think that it is. Attacking midfielder Damien Barre. Emmanuel Dinuno. Yeah, you look uh you look way too good for me, I'm not gonna lie. Louis Farty, thank you so much for the prime. And welcome. Tyrese Campbell. I feel like I've heard that name before. We gotta look up for him. Bring Zubalaga back for the B team? No. He's not Portuguese. We're building an all Portuguese B team until further notice. That's why I looked, though. I did look on Zubalaga. I'm like, is he Portuguese? Es portuguesa! No. He, he said no. Yeah, Zubalaga, right before he got sold, finally started to come good and was scoring, like, gigantic goals for us. Right. I said after that match, we were going to take some stock of some players. And one of those guys is Carlos Arias because we have Lazar Pavlovich, right? We've got Lazar Pavlovich who can do basically the same thing. We've got Ansi Karolainen under contract for five years. 
Uh, we have He Shen, who's a lifer. We've got Jason Cerna, who's great. Uh, we have Lamine Fall, who is also coming through as a midfielder. The guy that doesn't quite fit in is Carlos Arias. He's been good for us. He's never been great. But he also is a beloved member of the Colombian national team, which I feel like we should be able to use, right? Pavlovich is Serbian, yes. Daniel Dunker, no. Yi Ben, how dare you? Uh, most of them are be doing more strength training. Uh, did we skip that part of the preseason, man? I don't, okay. We'll get rid of the mat, uh, the <laughs> recovery. No. Uh, let's go physical resistance. That's your, that's your strength operation right there. We'll throw it in and you guys should be fine. Stop, Zealand. You gotta stop hitting continue. Okay. So the guy that then floats in the middle of that is Carlos Arias. And there is a club interested in him, Celtic. And Carlos Arias, uh... We offer out for 22 and a half. Five offers. No, okay. We did not get Ivan Fuentes. He went to Dortmund to play on their U19 team as a 20 year old. So strong decisions from Ivan Fuentes. It's okay. It's okay. It didn't hurt at all. Albert Kumalo. Uh, look. This kid's 16. Do we jump this now? Because he costs nothing. It's a poacher. No. We won't jump it now. Decent fine, Sad Owl. But he's a poacher. I can't. Poachers are always so overvalued star-wise because they can, like, you know, they can do their, their role really well. But that's not it. That's not the point. They still suck. <sighs> he's still solidly set on Barrientos and Isgrin. Barrientos would be the guy we would move. Uh, if we could. Uh, the problem is that he is a team leader that does not want to move. Um, we... There, there are always teams interested in him. We would need to uh, receive offers for Kevin Barrientos. What's his asking price set at 45? We'd probably take that from honestly. Eagles, my Whoa! goodness! Eagles with five... Gifted subs. Bazjins, Lordway, Matashik, Salatus, and Enlarged Salmon. You're now in the Hammers. Eagles has thrown down 15 gifteds today. The love, the shout out. Eagles, oh, 16 gifteds. Gifted one to switch the play as well two minutes ago. Eagles, thank you so much for the six. The six gifted subs. How tight's the Portuguese league in terms of foreign player rules? Not that tight. It is not that tight. All right. Sales that we need to make. A la Amra for 3.6 million. On the way, uh, Samudio. We've got Bristol City interested, which is nice. Uh, Samudio for 24 and a half, please. We'll just keep pumping those offers out. We do not, however, have anybody interested in Sawadogo or David Thompson, which is unfortunate. Literally anything. Literally anything on these guys. I just, we need to get them off the team. That's all we've settled is that we need to get them off the team. Olympiacos is in for Jose Matias. This would hurt. Give me 11 million for him. 
Dang it, they didn't. It would have happened quickly. Savvy! Why do my scouts produce barely any reports? They're probably still getting acclimated to where they are. Savvy with five. Can we get some bacon in the chat? Savvy with the five gifted subs. Gogsy, Aidson, Average Gamers, Mythies87, and Yoon86. You're now part of the hammers. You've got the bacon. You've got the emotes. You're in the subsection of the Discord. Boom. Boom. I'm struggling and filling with the 11 homegrown on the squad rule. Yeah, you got to sign him really young. That's the only way you can do that. You got to sign him really, really, really young. Really young. Like, you got to sign 17 and 18 year olds. Vector, I'm super glad to hear that. That's a club transforming amount of money you got from 15 to 75 million by just raising the asking price. It's magic what can happen when you do that. Uh, is there anybody interested in Lamine Kemenani? These asking prices are nice and high, right? They're nice and high. Um, I don't know if we're, we're going to get any offers around them, even though it's the value that that player should be at. I don't know. Uh, can we refund Parfait's personalized message? I don't read personalized messages in languages that I don't understand uh, because I don't know if I'm saying something like horrible or, or good or bad. I'm sure I'm not Parfait, but we could never be too safe on that sort of thing. So can we refund that? That'd be awesome. Thank you, moderators. Biggest profit you've ever made in a player? Oh, I don't know. We make a lot of profit a lot of time. Adorito Fonseca, no, away with you. Xing Wei is developing some, a little bit. Holly, thank you. Um, Spacey, thank you for the tier one, my dude. Okay, we've got Tyrese Campbell. It's at Stoke City, so he has not moved. Dude's got 488 appearances and 191 goals. This is insane. This man is a championship legend. Literally from the drop in this save has been bagging at least 14 goals in the championship every year. His average rating well over seven. Shredding the championship. He had two years of 27 goals and 26 goals and yet somehow Stoke City has never made it back out. 14th, 9th, 18th, 11th, 7th, 9th, 7th, 4th, 5th, 6th. That's three consecutive playoff defeats for Stoke City and Tyrese Campbell. All he wants to do is play in the Premier League. He deserves it. Tyrese Campbell, all he wants to do. All he wants to do is play in the Premier League and he can't quite get him there. He cannot quite get them there. Maybe they have a bad goalkeeper. What an effort. What an effort for Tyrese Campbell. What a career. Right? Like, if they want, did they win something? You know, milestones? Uh, no. He's never won anything. Now he's like supporters player of the year all over the place, right? But... Top goal scorer. He's got golden boots in the league. It's just not the same. Jack Grealish. He's a coach, but uh, how'd his career go? Oh, uh, we, we, we've looked this up. He went to Manchester United and he played like pretty well for, for five years, right? Played pretty well at Manchester United. Wasn't amazing. And then for some reason, Barcelona buys him. They He plays 16 games. After a $63 million purchase, then they sell him to Zenit. Who gets, like, he gets sent down to Zenit 2 after two years? Like, weird vibes for Jack Grealish. But he ended up with 56 caps and, uh, you know, 
Won the Russian Premier League a couple times. Won fourth place in the World Cup. Runner up in the Champions League, in the Nations League. Won the FA Cup. And won the Premier League back in 2022 and won the UEFA Super Cup as well. Fun, fun stuff for Jack Grealish. Money laundering. Honestly, really. Is the NCAA in the game? I got to think it's a decent source of pros for the MLS. Uh, yes, technically, I think. There's like, there is a draft system. I don't play in the MLS that much. I, I don't, I don't find the playing with salary caps to be that fun. Like I like watching the MLS, but I don't play in the MLS. Uh, so Batal, not good. Tristan Travis. The Irish central defender. Finish that up. Jude Godwin is very good. And now we need to save this team selection. As our go-to starting 11, right? Manage, save team selection. 31, 11. Okay, and then we will remove all of them. Cool. Easgrin outs. Let's see, we've got that. We've also got a classic setup here. Let's get Jose Matias out there. Who else is not fit? Uh, Zamudio is not fit. So onto the field you go. Petr Todorov is not fit. So onto the field you go. Yes. Boise and Flander, not fit. Lamine Fall is not fit. This awkward Carbajal, you're not fit. You're in. Um... Clabinho is not fit, so we'll get him out there playing with Chagol Meta. Carlos Arias, of course, not fit, so switch that up with Todorov. Sad Abdullah Mirjassim is a no. Borges is not fit, and he can play as the other guy on the outside. And then we have, like, no other right backs. But we do. Chavera and Mosqueda, but they're both. TBH never thought that this would happen already at five months. You're at eight months, you. You're just on a five-month streak. Thank you for the prime. I'm glad I could help you out. Eagles with a gifted to Cal Denti. Welcome to the Hammers. And Eagles throwing down another gifted sub. Chinko Kuhn, thank you for the tier one. And welcome to the Hammers. And Velocity, thank you for the 10 months as you close in on that silver bacon. My boys. And... Yeah. Welcome, Otto. I saw you. I saw you drop in earlier. And I am Dar. Thank you for the five months as well. We need to... Garai? Yeah. Pavlovich. Yep. Uh, whoa! Dude, what was that? Tier three! Almost a year left school. <sighs> it's a tier three sub, bro. Wow. My mom only... Hey, I thought those were only in stories. My mom told me about them, but I thought that was just, uh, you know, a legend that they read about in the books, you know? Those books and stuff. And I don't... I, you know, books. You ever heard of books? Incredible. That's where Tier 3 subs come from. Thank you, Nick the Bull, for the 11 months on the Tier 3. Why do you play out of defense without ball playing uh, defenders? Because our full our fullbacks are really good passers, so the ball gets out to them, they're able to they're able to work with it. Also, I play out of defense when I, we are better than the teams we're playing against, and we are generally better than the teams we are playing against. Nice draw, Almeida with the goal. Boys and Philander missed a penalty, and Mehmet Aras, Edson Alvarez is playing for Dortmund. Mehmet, oh, okay, super nice. A super duper goal! I feel bad for people in Europe that don't get to listen to that guy. The, uh... The, like, Central American English announcer is so hilariously awesome. The, any, like, somebody can sneeze the ball into the back of the net and he's... A super duper goal! For Edson Alvarez! 
Oh! And they're like back into it again. It's amazing. Dynamo Zagreb, 1-0. Copenhagen, 2-1 over Molfair of ours. St. Gallen, 1-0 over Gutzberg. Red Star, 2-0 over Ljubljana. Red Bull Salzburg, 3-1 over Dinashka Strada. And Sparta Prague beat Karabag. Porto, come on, Porto. Oh, cheese and crackers, Porto. We can't be losing to Sparta Rotterdam. Celtic beat Austria Vienne. Ike Athens beat Besiktas. We're trying to catch the Netherlands on coefficient. We put two teams in the Champions League knockout stages. And we still didn't catch them. We need you to get back there again, Porto. We can't be lollygagging next to Sporta Rotterdam over here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. How did Spada Rotterdam get into the Champions League? I don't know. The Netherlands is amazing in this save for some reason. They're, they're going nuts. The Netherlands is... They're cracked, bro. They are cracked. They have been in the sixth position in the league rankings for a very long time. We put two teams in the Champions League knockout stage last year, and they were still better than us. I'm not over it. I'm not over it, so I don't want to talk about it. Jorginho, thank you for the gift and sub the dummy. Thank you, you my Mamba dude. Wow! Last week was amazing, man. Someone better at editing than me should make a compilation of all the best freelancer moments. That song is the soundtrack of this whole thing, and Harris Heller probably has no clue. Oh, he probably Chat has. Jam. Yeah, he probably has no clue at all. Harris Heller had no idea. No idea what he created. 17 matches unbeaten. Cool. Cool. We're on a dynamo run towards the end of the season last year, apparently. Dynamo. How did the other competition finish last season? Uh, well, we won the league, and we won the cup, and we won the super cup. Up the dragons. Hope your work placement goes well. Thank you. Yes, it's one month here in Indy. Just going to be working on improving my skills. It's going to be really fun. And uh, the timing works out perfectly. I go in and, you know, once I finish the stream or filming YouTube videos, then I go in. It's awesome. Um, I see. Just got my uni history result back for year five. Got a pass. Let's go. <laughs> we have no shortlisted Lamine replacements. There have been no tasty write backs that we found, and it is a serious, serious issue. Serious issue. It's it's a real problem. We're really really uncomfortable with what's going on right now. Because our right back is Bruno Gama, and look, I like Bruno Gama as much as the next simp, but it's just not. It's not very good right now. It's not. And we're not really able to sell players for the value we feel like we should be able to. Johnny Nino Quinteros, this guy that they're. Uh, 20 year old that they're trying to make a play for put an offer in on for 51,000 I'm sorry general manager I can't do that they're just addicted to Bruno Salvador aren't they yeah look at that wicked improvement from Jao Silva but Corey Dindane might actually end up being sick um we have a couple of center backs that could end up being, I mean, mint good players. Come on, Celtic, you're interested in that asking price of 22 and a half. That's major interest. Uh, we already have you on the transfer list, no? I think we might transfer list Samudio and Carlos Arias and just have that asking price out in the breeze. I know you uh, starting to consider why you should be looking to move to a bigger club. How long are you under your contract? 2033? That might actually work in our favor because we can get a ton of money for Barrientos right now. I love him. He's one of the team leaders of the, of the side, but also like... Let's see, like, if we offer him out, are we going to get 45 million? I don't think he'll get mad that we offer him out now, which is which is obviously good. Mabasa, after this transfer window, will be okay. Jonathan Chavera obviously wants to be a bigger part of a team, but he's just so versatile off the bench. How could we possibly do that to ourselves? 
Ivan Minich, you get a lone move. You are not somebody that gets to stick around anymore. Sorry, bud. Um, Lamine Kemenani. I'm going to put a $10 million asking price on him. See if anybody bites. Anybody that has a, a bit of a less, a bit, a bit less of a grasp on his potential than we do. Oh, he's resolute now? When did that happen? I love that. I love that. You ever done an Irish save? I have, yeah. It's under contract till 2033. We're going to go ahead and do it. See what kind of interest that attracts. Ari is signed to the transfer list. You wanted to leave. What do you mean? Armando, you're a god. He doesn't feel forced out. Good. Armando, this is Armando. Bruno, you are more than capable of this. You are more than capable. Oh my god. Uh seven leadership so I don't even really understand it but I ask no questions oh FM gods take these prayer hands that are in this chat right here as a sign of our thanks for your favor in our endeavors In the name of Jean Pinto, Eric Mendez, Erling Holland, and Juan Chavera, we pray. 
Ramen. Okay, so they no longer feel forced out of the club. What's the uh, what's the deal? Oh, it's the Minich loans. No, I want I want loans in Portugal, man. But they're just gonna be like, no, two Serbian teams again. We'll wait a week or something. All right, so we have drummed up more interest with the transfer listing of our boy Arias, which means if we offer out a 24 million, now all of a sudden Kuhn or one of those teams is going to come flying in with the money, right? Of course, that's how it works. We've been working hard. I uh, hope we will seek the initiative and look to play with an attacking swagger. Trito, uh Mishan's been on trial for a while now. Doesn't really matter. Impressive record of winning uh, many of the more recent opening days of the season. Yeah, we always want to win. Opening day is no different. We want to win this match too. There's a real buzz around the ground when we play at home, especially an opening day like this. Who seems... Uh, Eesgren? Yeah, look, Eesgren's a game changer. Carl Lainen is uh can absolutely make the difference as well. Um... Pereira looked, won the golden boot last year. Of course, he's going to be key for us. I don't believe in a first choice team. I've got different options. I've got a lot of talented players. We rotate through. That's utter nonsense. I do have a first place, like first team, and then we're okay. All right. When about does the new FM22 news come out? Is it close to November release date? Um, I, I mean, look, they'll probably start dropping things about the new FM in, like, October. Right? I mean, like, the new FM did come out for five months. So, I usually, it, but I'd say, like, a month of buildup for them, which would be October. How important are press conferences? They're not tremendously important, but your, your assistant will usually say a couple of dumb things, especially if he's not good at man management. So I just do them because I normally have a nice automatic response for everything that's going to get a good response out of my uh, out of my players. Hamdi Mansour, who is playing in Egypt, which makes that a solid value signing. Man, you're just really bad at passing. Juan Roman, you are literally just a forward masquerading as a an attacking midfielder. Jose Manuel Medina finish that up George Farrell who we can never finish scouting but we will attempt to again finish scouting this is a very high range of current and potential ability for a 19 year old that current ability obviously shows that it's it's pretty likely that this potential is going to end up being higher and, and maybe just a lot higher I think we're going to go prioritize that guy, especially at center back. I know we've got two guys back there. That can, oh, and another one. There's two. Are you a right back? Yes. Arlen Clayton might be... No, well, he's not actually good now. It's more of a later operation. We're already working on it. Scouting is ongoing. Uh, was it Robin Shell? No, it was Armando Martinez. And then the 20-year-old Leonidas Christopoulos of Sweden. I actually don't think it's going to end up being that good. So we'll leave, we'll leave that back. We'll leave that back. We're not going to, we're not going to push scouting there. Niall Colpan, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. I'll be like, yeah, well, he's either or, or he's a god. We don't, we aren't sure. But based off the attributes that we can see, and he's still a teenager, he's leaning towards the god. Do we manage to sell Silva? We got an offer of 82 million from DL Pro in China, but he did not accept the contract. And so he is still here. Why not buy a right back? We want to buy the right, right back. We want to buy a right back of the future. We want another Lamine Mendez, but I don't think we're going to get that. (sighs) 
So right now it is oh my god, we played Benfica in the second match of the season. Well, at least we're getting it out of the way. Uh so no teams looking to make an offer on Barrientos. If I transfer list, well, nobody nobody made an offer on Arias either. Even with the transfer listing and the offer up at 24 million, we could expect an offer to come in at some point. Oh my god, Everton are looking at 78 million for Silva. I don't know if he would turn that contract down. Yeah, we're working on the strength training thing, okay? Um... It's a completely transformative amount of money. $99 million. Uh, 85? 85 million dollars, please. Jason Serna. Oh my god, Jason. You're 21, dude. Chill. <sighs> yeah, we, uh, things you just absolutely love to see. Jason Serna. Almeida. A little bit lesser extent. Yeah, uh, really? I mean, he's from Turkmenistan. How did you know? How did you know that I was going to fall in love? You're like a matchmaker, GM. You're like a matchmaker. What an offer. He's from Turkmenistan. Uh, we did not get the immediate offer that normally you would get on that kind of offer out. Gerardo Mershon, not good enough, and he is not Portuguese. So that's that. You've rejected a contract from Pumas. Okay. Thanks for letting me know, boss. Everton looking at... Well, okay, come on. $80 million. $80 million, I'll take that deal. That is a transformative amount of money for it, for our club. But immediately be able to pay off our debt for the stadium. Immediately. It would be gone. Yeniselli. Brynjar, Björg Vinson, best Icelandic guy we found in this save. He's just actually still not, uh, not any better. I just don't think Silva's that good. He's good, but not Champions League winning good. I mean, Silva's got some really hidden talent. Okay, Silva, his decision-making and anticipation being really high makes him a much better facilitator and just all-around player. He is dark green consistent, right? And that's where a lot of the value comes in on somebody like... Ja Silva is not the upfront stuff. It's the it's the extra stuff on on top of how good he is at all this. Other. Why do you? It's like he just got hit with a quarter life crisis. We talked you out of having any problems, Kevin. Just look at Ja Silva. He's fine. Carlos Arias is fine. He wasn't hit that hard by it, Kevin. Just take a chill pill, man. Chillax. All right, Matias is actually not cleared to play, so Urawath is going to get the opening day start with Cerna and Karolainen, uh, Mabasso, Pereira, and Ja Silva. Uh, we want to be pretty aggressive with this, so I think we drop Almeida. We have Arias, we've got Hishen, we've got Carbajal. Um, I think the guy that we swap in here is Zamudio. Or, no, I think I think we need a Buiz and Philander. And just seem we're going to drop for this one. We'll go on Helsamudio for this match. Who I feel like we might want to put on the transfer list as well. Just to see if we can drum up a little more interest to get him to, to move out. But the resolute is nice. I mean, I like the fact that he's resolute. The inconsistent does hurt, though. That means I wouldn't want to use him as a, a mentor long term. Because he'd be hurting the consistency of players while helping their mentality. And that is unnecessarily painful and complicated. Okay. I think the team itself, though, is ready to rock. 
We're still waiting to get Katsiki's back, and we are going to need to throw a general rehab his way to try and stem the tide of his fitness going down. Let's kick the season off, lads. Here we go. Match day one. Braga ODFC. Match day one. Here we go. Mathroom, thank you for the two months. Recently got back at FM. Your YouTube videos helped a lot. Also great fun to watch the streams. I appreciate it, dude. Now, Colpin, thank you again for the Twitch Prime. <sighs> thank you to everybody that's part of the Hammers uh, that, that subscribes on Twitch. Allows us to do all of the cool things that we do. Or pay the four editors and change that we have. Once things get rolling, we're going to be having a YouTube video coming out every two days. Like a full quality Zealand vid coming out every two days. Two different editors working on live channel content as well. The plans for the future. Awesome. They're very awesome. Yes, the only change is you have to come back here. And then everybody else is all right. Let's do it. We won this match 3-1 last time. Enrique Borges scored the hat trick, but he doesn't get the start today because we're savage. We're the favorites. We should be winning this one comfortably. We're playing at the Carlos Salema. We've already got the Super Cup. Let's go. Uh, is Katsiki... No, Katsiki is a defensive mid ball winner type player. He is not a dilp. The goal is for Zealand to eventually hire or buy Benji. Yeah, the editors take this channel from a from a two star ability to five star ability, really. Morgan, thank you for the six months and congrats on your silver bacon. Thank you for being a part of an elite online gaming community. Uh-oh. Whoa. Whoa. Hold the post. Save it. Oh. We've had better starts to the season. I'll, I'll readily admit that. I'll admit we've had uh, better starts to the season. Spent ages digging for silver and finally found a little bit. It was a minor success. Baroness, thank you so much for the six months. That deserves a few Keck W's. That's, you know, it's a, it's a B plus. I like that. I like that. It's a B plus. I, I want to watch this again, though, because I was, I was caught up in your pun. Oh, we just can't. Oh, we just can't let that. We have so many people back. We just can't let that happen, man. We just can't let it happen. All right, guys. We got, we got a lot of time. We're going to hit him with an encourage. Try and get this turned around nice and quick because uh, we have controlled the opportunities in this game for the most part. Gama. It's a good running ball. Pereira. On save! Come on, lads! Come on! Get in the mat! Odsey oh, Carolina, man, that's what he does. He gets up into the box. He's giant. Nobody can mark him. He just drills the ball into the back of the net. Pereira just has to float that up for big Odsey Carolina. And I don't know if I've ever had a player like Odsey Carolina, but we play to his strengths. We play to his strengths, you know? We play to Carolina's strengths. Uh, good block. Turn. Pass. Dude, you've got, like, more passing and vision and intelligence than anybody on the planet. You're all, you're the playmaker so that you receive the ball and do something nuts with it. Thank you, Cerna. Now. 
I demand brilliant passes at all times. No simple passes allowed. Abasso. Big Walter. Armand. Sheesh. That's all right, Carl Lane, and good work. A Yurawath. Cerna. Yeah, use Gamma. Stretch this out, then inside. Then inside. Then... It's like they can't even hear me, dude. Some, I, sometimes I swear they can't even hear me. That way. That way again to the fullback. Got it there eventually. Why are we shooting, Daher? He's going to take this ball from him. Oh, oh. He's going to have a couple shots at it because this guy's so slow. There we go. Long highlight, anybody? I'll take it. Long as it ends with us. I just run. Carlane into the box. We've got the trio in there. Silva. It's still going. Ansi. Silva. Ansi. Again. Good work, Daher. It's, it's good defending. That's good defending. Stayed in front of him the whole time. Only cross he could pull off was one that was really easily stopped. Good pressure from Carl Lane in. Barrienta. Oh, this is this is really good. Silva. That feel like that pass should have been better. Doesn't matter. Silva! Oh. This is good, boys. We really squeeze the life out of this game. We just need to discern out what in the world is going on, man. You could be as good as... Uh, you'd probably be the best midfielder in the world and he would still put in a bad match rating. The dude does not play well on the field in either position. Despite his incredible ability that we were oogling over a couple of minutes ago. Okay, deep breaths, back down the wing. We're really covering wide. Oh yeah, Walter. Cerna. Focus play through the middle. Uh, again, not happy. I don't want to be tied at halftime with this team. Not at all. All right, let's keep going through the middle for now. Uh, a little more narrow, a little more focused. Well, that was just unnecessarily difficult there from Abasso. He might have pulled it off, but still. like the entire game is a highlight we're on extended not comprehensive and like the none of them are these like glorious chances that we're missing it's just like just uh having a feel around you know poking and prodding bruno it's a pretty good crosser this honestly wasn't a terrible area oh 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 what a save Oh, that's good. That's a good look. That's good work. That's a good look. I love the way you said that. The enemy has a really strong defensive. The enemy has a really strong defensive mid midfield setup. The enemy. I uh, think I've got an idea for how we might get after these guys. Herrera. Oh, 
Babasso, no. Yeah. Oh, you're a Wath. Serna. I mean, we could just score on one of these highlights and then it would be for naught. What is that shot, man? Give me the 60 minutes that I'll make the change. I've got a change in mind if we, if we need it. I've got a change in mind if we need it. I'm hoping we don't need it. We're the only team likely to score, so we can just put that away. We'd be freaking fine. I wish we had a left back like Gamma. True. Very true. Uh, Daher. Daher is the number 20. He just... Uh, his shooting isn't really the reason why. Good defense. Do not give Sufanat Moenta room to shoot. <laughs> boss is just so much faster than him. Flick on Herrera. Bold. I mean, he did win the golden boot last year, so who's to say he can't do that? Walter loves this area and somehow gets shut down again. Well, my goodness, Eastgren got lost. That guy just did an unbelievable job holding the ball up and creating a chance from that. Okay, here's our move. Uh, we are going... We are going 4-2-3-1. We are going to have two brilliant passers... Behind here, we are going to offset Karolainen. The other thing we are going to do is go lone forward. Okay, so we are going to have Silva as... I just don't... <sighs> Silva and Pereira are playing well. I just don't want to do that. I don't want to do that yet. I don't want to, I don't want to go with the double change, but we're. Th this is a move that we've definitely done before. Cerna just becomes like a support central midfielder who can float up and I want to shoot because he's a very good shooter okay um yeah that's our move a year off he shin in so we've got Serna and he shin have such good vision that sucks Daher just got hurt but we'll worry about that later Carbajal's there for the sub and we move. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Oh, there you go, my boss. So now we're flying. Now we're flying. 2035. To the midfielders. Finally won the Champions League. Up the Dragons. Pass. No. Ah. Thank you, Big Daddy, for the 11 months. Finally won the Champions League, dude. Congratulations on your Champions League title. Oh. God, that wave of Carlane and Inserna, though. They just didn't cover it. Inserna, he's shin. Good ball out, Eastgren. Mabasso. Ishin. Oh, I thought that was a pass. I thought it was bending. Good take. Oh, yeah. He Shin. Good pass. Bruno. He Shin. Oh. Encourage. Duh. Jorge 
this is the final sub yeah it's the only one that, that's the one that makes sense No, it's not, actually. Zamudio makes a lot more sense for fresh legs to just wind sprint this. Or we just score off a corner. Because we've been all over him the whole game. is we've just switched this and so we need to get he shin off that back post defense and we need to get he shin off of being there okay come on guys come on guys come on it's hoof it time it's hoof it time Ryan on L! Put pressure on it. I, uh, what, okay, okay. <laughs> still up, they're still up! Somebody get freaking Einstein on the phone and tell me how that ball didn't go in the back of the net, okay? God! Cool. <laughs> what a way to start the season. 32 shots to five, boys, we're in! I need this. I need this right now. I need I need this. I need this right now. I need it right now. I need it. My chakras are in need of a gigantic cleanse after that. Gigantic. Got the uh, we got the Greek, we got the Greek in. Um, 
We got a very good center back in for the Ivory Coast. Uh, yeah, potential kind of future guy. We got Lazar Pavlovich from Serbia. It's a $10 million midfielder. We're going to be all right. You know what? That just reminds me. Reminds you. Reminds me. Reminds everyone. But we're going to be all right. I'm going to put Samudio on the transfer list for $24.5 million. We need to open the team up to uh, have, you know, the different options around the side, I think. And that's uh, that's a move that I believe that we need to make. Giuseppe Froiler. I think we've already actually scouted that guy once before. You're just giving me false hope, aren't you? It's a very good 15 year old right there and he's either footed okay come on now you're just now you're just being like mean really and he's either footed come on after 50 league appearances 18,000 I don't know boys that's that's pretty high up there it's pretty high up there Per league appearance and get that out of here after international appearances get that out of here you know i like how i remove both of those things and they just magically come back they they get reintroduced into the negotiations it's so little money that i don't care xanthoden wow. thank you so much for the five gifted subs asap russy frost wnm7 it's aaron and the new don dev welcome to the hammers xanthoden with nine gifteds around here right now thank you for that expand to the hammers enjoy the bacon enjoy the emotes my dudes who is this satsy you speak of just how good was carlina today he's, he's a good player um Look, Carl Aynan's a really good player. When he takes the field, we're going to be better. When's this contract going to start? Uh, yeah, a few years from now because he's freaking 15. But the guy, uh, next transfer window, 2033. Uh, sure, I don't care. We'll give you that promise. Fringe player, I'm still not going to need to worry about uh, any playing time going to you. Uh, Jean, I'm not going to lie, man. 
kind of surprised that you're getting so moody about this, but Ali Dumbia, yes, our offer is in on the 15-year-old center back from the Ivory Coast, Ali Dumbia. Stacy is back in Syracuse. Yeah, Stacy's back in Syracuse, man. We got no Stacy's around here. It's a, well, you know, he's in Ivory Coast, so there's no getting to him in the short term. It's a very long-term game. It's not like, you know, you're super exciting signing right now. It's something that three years from now we go, wow, this dude's still amazing. Zamudio, how many more people are interested in you now that you're on the transfer list? Uh, good amount. Let's go with an unspecified right now, and then we'll go back to uh, hanging out. good we've got like a little window here to focus just on the uh just on the transfers rutted bobcat with the gift wow. throwing it down welcome to the hammers bodacious bandit enjoy the bacon enjoy the emotes be sure to say thank you wouldn't it be ironic if your next girlfriend was called stacy it could never happen stacy's don't actually exist in the real world i'm back for the pub let's go dragons let's go dragons yes do you have to sign Chinese guys? No, but we sign and develop the best Chinese guys we can get our hands on. He Shin is a regular part of the first team. He's China's great hope. He led them to a World Cup. We're doing our part. Uh, Zamunio at nine. Yeah, see, no. Uh, see, no, we're not. No. Would like to not do that. What are these other offers, though? Unbeatable Oriental Dry. We broke our record. Yay. Some other random offers. Uh, Gnilson Forrester. I think we should maybe start to entertain these ideas just a little bit. Give me 500. 475. Okay. Easy yours. I don't think we'll get better value out of that. Uh, give me regular starter and give me, if he's playing, 100%. And we'll lock that down. Okay. He's yours, Vittoria de Setubal. People really want Yi Ben, and they're ignoring the fact that his asking price is 750000 I can't... I really can't believe it. I don't believe it. I choose to believe that they're not disrespecting him like that. New ground, or both of our facilities are being improved. I mean, goodness me. Look at us go. Look at us. Look at us. You ever do an international save? Absolutely. We were trying to get the Swiss national team job in this save. It has not worked yet. Yet. We will get him fired. Have faith. Uh, if there's a deal to be made, it's got to be right for the club. Yeah, well, look. $25 million gets you on Hell Zamudio. He's on the transfer list for that price. You've got your transfer list price for Arias. I want $80 million for Jao Silva. I want $45 to $50 million for Kevin Barrientos. Those are the players that I could see moving here as we're loaning out Minich, and we we're going to want to acquire a right back with the money that we have left. But I want to get a lot more money than that. I want to establish institutional wealth for the club. That's kind of what we're going after here. Is we want to establish an amount of money in our pockets that is just ridiculous. See, I don't want to just invest a boatload of money in Sergei Vilashenko just because I feel like I need another right back because we can survive with what we have right now. I just feel like the people we would need to go bring in are like... Maybe just sign Richard Brown? Hi, Richard. Remove these. Didn't he, like, get mad at me when I did this last time? If we, we've done this before, right? Richard! Richard. 
the name of the football manager gods, we pray that he is going to not immediately reject this contract, that he is going to continue negotiations after we hit this button. Thank you. No! Dude, how? How? Why? Huh? Aiden, thank you so much for the tier one. Welcome to the hammers, my dude. Enjoy the bacon and the emotes and Albin and been binging vods. Finally caught up, decided to throw Jeff's money at you. Cheers for helping me become average at FM. Dude, that's what it's all about. Benham, thank you for the two months and thank you for the prime. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. That hurt. That was pain. That was pain. Marcial Dumbia, not good enough. Damian Leguizman, certainly not good enough. Lorenzo Serato. Are, yeah, oh, absolutely not good enough. Mark McFarland, North Irish forward from Millwall. Goodness, he's fast. A lot of fun. Definitely a lot of fun. Also not good enough and overpaid. Mauricio Santurion. Go ahead and wrap that. Scouting up. Fabio Carvalho. And Nurberdiev. You know what, Turkmenistan? I am absolutely all over this. Duvlet Nurberdiev. I'm all over this. I'm all over this signing. Come on. Come on. Negotiate with me. Negotiate! I don't know what they do in Turkmenistan, okay? Dovlet Nurberdiev, my general manager, knows exactly what I want. Uh... You have a lot of very physical players. We know in the absence of skill, speed, and stamina can make a great fullback. Uh, Zamudio is the prime candidate. Uh, we will give up on training him at left back and switch him over to training at right back going into the season um if we are unable to land a one a move away from him at fair value and two a uh signing of mr richard brown who is still the candidate in the clubhouse to be our other right back richard brown is that man Yo, Professor, any tips for Series C in Italy? Watch your videos about wiring the world. Kind of difficult. Yeah, no, look, Series C, you're not wiring the world. You wire the world when you scout the world. If you're in Series C, you probably can't. But, Xantho, then you are thinking correctly about the situation. A Eurowath and Clubinho are also capable right backs. A Eurowath is a pure defender. Uh, Shavera is already an option at right, but we're not, it's not like we're going to run out of options at right back, right? We are simply, they're, they're trying to look, trial Alex Danquo. Okay. Sure. Hey Zealand, how to identify and differentiate amazing 17, 18 year old players in a scouting report. It seems that every time I think this kid will be world class compared to other, I check their PA and usually I am wrong. You mean check in their PA and this is when you can like see all of the attributes? You just got to take into account. Uh, I, I mentioned this in a different uh, a different video where look, you can't be a whore for the for the green. You know, the green's got to be in a particularly good area, right? There are players that have a lot of green that we'll still get rid of because it's not, you know, it's not good green, right? It's 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 useless green. It's on like bravery on a midfielder, you know, like the things that 
it's nice to have, but it's not going to make the player good. Why does this music make me want to start jazzercising? Because you're a human being. It's actually a test to find the androids among us. Claudio, thank you for the $5.96, though. It, I mean, look, if you can see all of their attributes and you're talking just about current ability, then that is something you can definitely uh, get better at identifying. But it, it comes down to how the attributes are weighted in your mind based off what the person is doing. I mean, an advanced playmaker playing in a wing position is going to need a lot of different stuff than a winger playing in a wing position. That's just the truth. So knowing what stuff they're going to need in that situation. Wow, these dudes are like almost the same player. It's kind of creepy. Patrick Vienni. A 16-year-old Ivorian forward as we continue to just destroy ASEC Mimosa's entire academy. Bestus Ikachukwu. Hardworking midfielder. Well, he very he may very well be a hardworking midfielder, but he has very little future here. Are you a right back? You're a both back, Herman Bea. I'm going to put him up towards the top. Adama Traore is a very aggressive right back, but he's also not very good. Yosef Kores. Kores. No. Caesar Mora. This is another one of those right back options. He's got absolutely no offensive skills whatsoever. Get him off the short list. Patricio Mendoza. We finally finished scouting at Independiente del Valle. Very good center back for the Ecuadorian League, but that's it. Ilya Rostevsky, okay. Dimba. This guy's valued at 28 million. He's getting paid 4 million a year. He's playing as a winger at Herta. That's not worth our time. That's also not worth our time. Federico. Only transfer listed him for 12 million, which is creepily low, but nope. Matias Acosta. There we go. Now we're talking something in our wage range. Ja Santos. Okay. No potential at all, never mind. Mario Hermoso. I think you're kind of an automatic no, bud. Francisco Montesinos. There we go. Now we're talking from Chile. Now we're talking. That's what I want to see. Right there. Patrick Vianney and Herman Bea there. Armando Martinez is still top of the pops, but we want those guys at the top of our priority list. Easy money. Do you have any prime signing candidates? Uh, Richard Brown right now. We have no, like, obvious signing targets. Like, we go look at our, uh, our actual targets. They're more speculative. Right? They're like this goalkeeper that we know is pretty good but I think he also has some issues so we're not completely sure about it they're like Doran Benshea where the potential isn't out, we're, we don't have that elite amazing high highbrow potential right Nicholas Mosqueda honestly I we should probably sign this guy right now I fell for the heading a little bit the heading is unnecessary also doesn't matter because he's 5'7 so we're looking at somebody with dribbling a burst a 17 year old that's got that going on that's why I preserve this short list. So I'm a, I'm a fool. We forget to go after these people. Micah Garcia, who's the young Spanish defender who's got professionalism and very well could turn into a decent player. But Doran Benche is probably the best, would be the best signing right now. make an inquiry I do have to start thinking like a team with a lot more money than I'm thinking right now it's actually injury susceptibility and a little bit too much wage a little bit you off the actual target list a robert brennis we want to keep on the target list guillermo patronio
just clean this up a little bit. Like we're, we're a little overzealous with who's on our actual target list right now. Little overzealous. I'm a Yashuk. Goalkeeper Diogo Pinto, who is, I just, wage demands are just so freaking high. we can check them again but he wants like five million dollars in wages it's insane shabalala isn't shabalala is really good he isn't quite good enough okay shabalala is really good though he does the job for us. You are no longer on the actual target list or the or any short list. You've gone to PSG and you are dead to me. Olivera Kafumana. It's a little bit of scouting, but we know that he is just not good, and so we can drop it. We're still, we are still trialing Lucas Paqueta because somehow we still can't pin down exactly how good he is at marking people. Avi Abuazira is definitely good. <sighs> you know, we have found some really talented guys. He moved to Olympic Lyon, but he's still not costing a lot of money. We'll inquire about Nicholas Mascara as well. If we hadn't already, I don't think we had. Look for great players with awful release clauses. Yeah, well, if I knew where the great players were, we'd be on our way, Scratch-Tua. My apologies. You kind of new here, found your YouTube channel. It's been so helpful. I'm pretty new to the game. Uh, how's the save going? Yeah, well, welcome, Glegzy. Save's going well. I mean, we just got FM'd out of our skulls in the last match, but... Overall, we won the Super Cup to start the day, so that's still good. Glegzy, thank you for the Twitch Prime! <laughs> Shows up like, hey, I'm kind of new here. Boom, Twitch Prime. I have bacon, emotes. You got all those fancy emotes now. Access the subsection of Discord. It's yours. It's right there. Doo doo doo. Jadson. Weird name, Killian. Overall. No, man. You can finally say no to Killian Laurel. Did we get any weird offers? Oh, we got a Bruno Gama offer. Um, okay. All of a sudden, I really feel like I can't accept that. Saad Abdul Amir Jassim, still getting better. It's, you love love to see it. Eastgren showing improvement. Kinda sorta. He works hard all game. I mean, that's always nice to see, but... Gama... Why did I have to do that? Why does he want to leave? He's playing at the absolute... He's playing in a team that's well above what he'd be able to play in at his normal, like, ability level. What is that? Weird, uh, dumb question. Do you know what you need to select when you look at positions? It shows the little movement images about the position. Uh, you mean like when you go here and you're like, I'm going to change this role and then it like shows you the little moving dudes down here. Is that what you're talking about? You just hover over the role and then it'll show you like what the person's doing. It'll highlight the player. Obviously, that's not the only thing that they do. It is just a general guide if you're like feeling your way through it. Leandro Brucia. It's a good player. Valued at 47 million. That's probably why. Frank Winther. Well, we can't all be great. It's like he's really not that bad. He's loathed by my scouts. 
he really isn't that bad. He's a very good player for the Scandinavian level. Emmanuel Danuno, I just don't think we'll be signing that guy anytime soon. Thanks though, boss. Benfica. Going with a five at the back. Always love it, Benfica. When we play, always love it. I need help if I... I have never tried the runs with ball down center left or right because I want to make my players versatile. Uh, not every player is going to be versatile. And so running with the ball down a particular direction really helps you control... Uh, it really helps you control the direction at which they attack. If you have a winger that's really good at running with the ball and they just don't have a lot of versatility, like they're literally just stapled to that wing, it would take a very long time to train them to be an inverted winger. Run with the ball down the right flank's not a bad idea. If you've got somebody that's never going to be playing wide, they're always going to be playing in the, spl the spine, but they're a good dribbling midfielder. Run with the ball through the center is a good idea, or a striker that's very good at dribbling. They'll pick the ball up, and instead of dribbling wide, because maybe they're not good at crossing, they'll attack the middle. They'll dribble at the middle of the field. That's when it's helpful. When that versatility is not there. We did do those lookups, though, by the way. We did actually do those. We didn't do Louis Montanu. That's the one that we missed. And we didn't do Tuan Sebe. But we did the other ones you're talking about. Grealish and Campbell. We did those. NBA draft is today. Uh, any thoughts on that? I just hope as many Virginia players get picked as possible. Matt Sala isn't necessarily run through the center, though, because they run to the edge of the box a lot of the times. Wahoo -wah, baby. Wahoo -wah. Uh, let's see. I would be very happy with an after 50 league appearances at 750,000. You're going to want a lot more than this, yeah. Alright, I will pay you 2.3 up front, and I will pay you 2 million if the dude makes 50 appearances, which I would have to say is probably unlikely. I'm just playing the value here with our amazing facilities. I think this guy's going to end up being a much better player than he is right now for you. Okay. He's 17, he's either footed, he's got the athleticism, he's got a really balanced, like, attacking midfielder holy trio up here. We're just going to sit there, we're going to train his passing. And, uh turn him into a player that's really valuable let's see if you hate that costell thank you see not every agent freaks out when that happens goodness me Hundred ninety-eight thousand. doran ben Shea. in the eu can join us right away throw him right on the uh u19 side for now and he'll develop his way up through the ranks Are you a baseball fan? I am at the Virginia Texas College World Series game that went to 2 a.m. I, I am a baseball fan. I'm familiar with the game. Half a you year know. gone subbing here. Loving it, X. It's a bit of a tragedy at the end there for uh for Virginia, even though it had a pretty miraculous run to the College World Series. Rams fan, thank you for the six months. Wow. Part of the hammers, my dude. I appreciate it. Enjoy that silver bacon next to your name. You've earned it. You've spent a whopping amount of Jeff Bezos money. A preposterous amount of Jeff Bezos money. Ali Dumbia has agreed. Awesome. 160000 for a 15-year-old Ivorian center back who's going to keep playing with ASEC Mimosas until he's 18, and then he'll join us. But, you know, we're doing deals. Um, Monaco's, I mean, you guys got to come in with the offer at some point. And now a $6,000 offer for Dovlet Nurbadeev. Uh, you bet your bottom dollar I am signing Durblet Nurbadeev. How dare you suggest otherwise? Durblet Nurbadeev is mine. It's definitely not how you say that, dude. You want who? You want Marco Rojas? No! 
why do you want Marco Rojas? I don't want him to have the ability to nix the transfer. Fine, give me 3.3 3. 3 with Marco Rojas. Per league appearance, they're going to be like, oh my god. We're going to put a per league appearance in there, even though you removed and excluded it from negotiations. All right. Let me negotiate with Diogo Pinto. Let's see what's up here. Working to improve his passing, he feels it's no longer producing results. You know, I can't really argue with that now, to be honest. We've worked on it for so long to get his passing from 9 to 14 so that he could take advantage of his outrageous vision. Zheng Wei is improved to resolute, which means this guy might legitimately become somebody. Come on, Mascara. You can fly. You have wings. Rudy Sway, thank you so much for the two months as well. Let's look up Greenwood. I know we've got that. Oh, he's so bad. That's okay. We're developing the Turkmen national team. It's one of our new projects. Don't expect him to develop into a player of real quality. Well, that that's your mistake, not mine. I right, just put him on the U23s. You know, we're going to start working on his um, uh, is there an everything option. No? Okay. Yair Noriega. I did we get this offer coming through? I don't I don't recall this. Okay. Wow. Um he wants five to seven million per year. That's why we can't do it. I can't I'm not gonna do that. That's more than double I'm paying anybody on my team right now. Including like Ansi Karolainen. I can't do it. Five to seven million? Goodness. Per year. What do I look like? A walking bag of money? I mean, I do. We're looking fabulous today. But seriously. Turkmenistan with the 2042 World Cup. Yes, the Turkmen's flying. Ugh. You actually have uh, some pretty high potential there, Barata. Got some athleticism, and you've got you've got enough that I think I might want to pay that million dollar compensation, Barata, and bring you in. Full understanding of the language always helps. Blisters that are going to knock out Ansi Karolainen for this match. That's fun. That's a blast. That's a rip roaring good time. And the Zhao Silva Collective is still nice and strong. The Barrientos Pursuit Collective is also very strong. Just checking our offers out. See if anybody is willing to bite at our asking price that we know is attracting plenty of attention and should hopefully attract some offers as we come down through the back half of the transfer window. <laughs> Ortiz is doing well. He he's actually moved. Uh, he moved to what was it? Wolfsburg. He moved again recently. I know because we got like a we had a healthy little check out of his move. Why are we offering a uh, out Barrientos? Because we've got uh, Jose Almeida who is kind of ready to step in and be a first team center back next to Isgrin for a very long time. Also need to move. We need to move Ala Amra. On a separate note, Ala Amra is not the big money transfer, but still. Uh, Huertas actually isn't a huge wage or a huge asking price for a dude that's on PSG. Ah, uh, it's Hemiway. That ridiculous wage demands that you would put down. Rainier. 40 million. No, thank you. 52 million. Uh, no, thank you. 
no. Uh, we have players that are basically as good as you already, and Jimmy Valencia, the fullback from Liga de Quito. If you play right back, I'll be very interested in you, Jimmy. Very interested. It's a hot start to your scouting, that's for sure. Orientos. All right, so none of those were good. Duvon Vidal. I mean, come on. There's no way that makes any sense, man. Offer him a trial. I'm not going to offer him the contract right now. Zelko Jovic. They're paying 30 million. Apparently, he's available for 30 million. Bosnian. Southampton in the championship. Optional future fee. When is this? Convoluted freaking transfer offer you're trying to sell me right now. No! Mao? Something about your name just speaks like ruler of men. Mao Guangyang. Are you related to somebody by chance? Have you ever checked your like great grandparents or uh, anything like that? League appearance. Shut up. I just want to see. I want to see what it would look like. You got to move. You've got to move this, dude. I just want to see what his wage demands are, okay? The kid, he's unbelievable, all right? It wasn't enough money. What do you mean you want to, you wanted to do that move to Porto? You were just complaining about leaving. All right, Pereira, you know what to do, man. Why is he not there? Thank you. Bruno, you got this, right? Yeah, you got it. You got it, my homie. You got it. Easy money. Okay, cool. Never mind. Walter, 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 Carlos Arias. Here we go. Boom. Easy money. Walter Mabasso. Yes, sir. Nailed it. All right, boys. Here we go. We need Pereira. He's literally the best at this. We need Pereira. And yet, for some reason, Arias doesn't come up on Pereira's thing. You know, that that obviously, you know, can be a bit of an issue. Uh, everybody else has him coming up except for the guy that we need the most. So that's cool. So let's just go ahead and talk to Arias then. Hi, Carlos. Uh, this transfer was just below your asking price, dude.
I was proposing an optional future fee because it was part of a loan move. I wasn't willing to accept that. Money talks. All right, leave me alone, Carlos. I'll figure this out. Why could Pereira not talk to him? Somebody explain that to me. Didn't go well. I don't know if there was a way for that to go well. drop this a little bit 21 million i know i know they're yeah there we go we just hit 21 <laughs> excuse me yeah and he also has no interest really cool really cool really cool there bud really cool now you show up with 10 million dollars and you try and rob him from me. This is ridiculous, man. Uh, Porto, thank God. Porto gets through Sparta Rotterdam 3-1 to one to help our coefficient. We love to see that. Celtic through Austria, Vienne. Uh, Gank through Zenit and Athens. Through Besiktas. Sparta Prague through Karabag. Uh, Copenhagen over Molferovar. St. Gallen with the easy dub. Um, Red Bull Salzburg survives a pesky Donashka Strata, apparently. Red Star is through. Dynamo Zagreb is through. No real surprises at all. Uh, up and down that. No real surprises. Maybe Zenit losing to Gank. That's probably one. That, that's probably the biggest surprise there. Do you manage the lineups for the U21, U19, and B team? No, I do not. I manage the training. I don't manage the lineups, though. No, that's not. That's not. I, I have not bitten that off. be able to afford that anyways never mind man martin larson we were negotiating with you we were news to me hey what do you know we still haven't figured out how good lucas paquette is it's my favorite game trial him for a year and a half until we figure out how good he is please richard please stick around stay richard it's okay santhedon with the gifted sub thank you so much <laughs> 
I mean, why are they the only team that's willing to make an offer right now? I mean, we've got, you know, we've got Wolfsburg. It's hanging around, okay. Arias is a very good player. I'm not going to take stupid value. But I have a feeling we're going to have a problem with this. So now he's forced us to move in this window on him. We have been forced to move. Xanthan, and thank you for the gifted, though, my dude. Um, look up. We're going to do Mason Greenwood right now. We've been very distracted with the transfer drama. We are going to do Mason Greenwood right now. We are going to need to go back and refund the lookups for Louis Montanu and Axel Twansebe. Uh, if we can refund those two lookups, that would be great. And if you're still around, you can throw that in again. Greenwood's at Real Madrid. Looking very, very good. 99 caps, 63 goals for England. He's had, like, your classic storming career. 148 million from United after having a prolific career with United over four seasons where he finally got into the first team as a regular. After three years as, like, a rotational guy. Kind of returning to the, the rotational guy thing. Champions League winner, Real Madrid. Fun. He hasn't won La Liga, though, which is a little weird. He, he's won the Champions League multiple times. He's playing with Grealish at United. So I don't know if he... Well, he would have won the Premier League in 2022, but he's got a Champions League and an FA Cup and another Champions League. But he doesn't have a lot of league titles. Not a big league title guy. Nikolaus Katsikis. Um, I think immediately... Uh, Get to working on... Quickness. Need to need to recover that pretty quickly here. You look bad, don't you? Francisco Gelton. This guy's a lot better. Uh, then he looks from our scouting report. Very athletic, decent passer, decent ball control as well for our level. Probably the potential on this Arlen Clayton guy is pretty insane. And he's requested to leave and he plays right back. Arlen, I'm not going to lie, man. All of a sudden you're looking like a really good option. That guy, all of, a, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, looking like a really good option. A 17-year-old center back I played in the cup just scored off a corner in his debut. Congrats, my dude. Always a nice feeling when you see those guys finally come into the first team. You get to, like, watch them for the first time, unless you're somebody that goes through and watches your youth games from time to time. Park Sang Yoon. A really good athlete and left wing, and that is definitely why we kept him on the loan list, isn't it? I remember that 17 year old Brazilian we were thinking about signing. Oh, good. Only 37 million to just secure his services. What a, what a wonderful sight. Can I pull up, not right backs, but nationality and Brazilian, please? That's a weird order. Okay. And age, uh, 17. Oh, no. What do they say for scouting? It's finished, right? Finishes. 
Okay, that should narrow this down. That was no, it's at all. Uh, should still be here because it goes back to the last match and we were inside of that. So we actually forgot to offer that contract to that dude. Yeah, it's, that's like too far back. Wasn't Gelton. What? Trial? No. No. It was Barata. There we go. Barata, what's up, man? It was a trial. It's a stupid little trial. Oh, um. Oh. Oh. So you have potential. You don't have ability. That's a little expensive for potential and not ability. That's a little expensive, Barata. Love the cheese, though. You do some great work in the dairy department. Um, I actually think we're not going to do that. I mean, that's like an actual wage. But what we do need to do is leave this guy on the actual target list. And so we don't like lose track of him, right? I got worried that we lost out on that. Now we know his compensation is 1.2 million. We know. We know. We're aware of that. We know we aren't getting him for free. Shea is set to sign. So get a good pickup for the boys here. Nikolaus Katsikis. I'm just going to go nuts with this and bring Katsikis in around the first team. I'm not selling Arias for that chump change. What are these offers in for? They want to trial Ricardo Estevez? Go for it. Uh, Mascara. Oh, they're like, wait. Their money offers for Camilo Mascara. Uh, reject, 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 reject. Mascara for... Oh, because we had the asset price of 750000 Two million if you want Camilo Mascara. He's very fast. Very fast. Doran Benshea thinks of somebody that we can develop into a really competent player for us. He's only 17. He joins immediately. We can take advantage of our brilliant coaching staff. Uh, and the fact that he's got a really good distribution of athleticism and playmaking in the final third already. He's an aggressive midfielder. I think the 2.3 million signing or you know, 17th of our transfer budget to get Doran Benshea in, especially with the, the, the assets that we're looking to move right now. 18 and a half. Come on. You can do that. Meanwhile, we're shopping Jeff Silva for freaking 80 million. And Kevin Barrientos is drawing major interest from Utrecht at 45 million somehow. And Angel Zamudio is drawing serious interest at 25 million. That's all we need, baby. Who's a bigger pain to... Oh, Tiago Noose was a bigger pain to move, dude. No doubt. Uh, Yeah, let me guess. Ten and a half million? I hate you so much, Udines Calcio. Ooh. What if we withdrew the contract and offered a trial? That doesn't seem, like, literally terrible. Wow, they just paid two million dollars for Camilla Mascara. Dude, just riding the pine for us. Getting paid not much. Freak athlete, fullback, not able to really do anything else. We signed him for what? 175,000? Pauk Thessaloniki's like, I'll give you $2 million for Camilla Mascara right now. Just goes to show every once in a while, somebody just like explodes onto the scene. Jose Marine doesn't seem terrible. That's not a bad idea. 
And we're wheeling and dealing right now. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of people flying out. Well, Yee Ben, what? You want to move to Shenyan or Bon? You want to go back to China? Leave me alone, Yee Ben. You are happy here. You're very happy. You are happy here. Very happy. Tim Wei has scored 11 goals in 10 matches against Oriental Dragon. They've got a number of good players. We aren't necessarily just worried about him. Um, do you think he's going to win the Liga Nas title this season? Uh, no, no comment. You know, I won't say it's early. We drew our opening match, so hard to say it's us, you know, boys. Hard to say it's us. Oh. Daniel Dunker, if you really want to leave the club that much, who am I to stop you? Didn't realign our, our scouting. That was what was bothering me. Um, we've got Andrade, the goalkeeper. We have Arlen Layton, who is being actively pursued. Okay, I, I think we start to make a move on this. I have no idea how much money they're going to ask for. God, God, man, really? A $12 million release clause on this guy. He is, you are in the, I hate. Second division Portuguese teams have the grubbiest fingers, dude. They're all up in your business. Declare interest or trans, well, I mean, shoot. Player interest is top target. We have no other top target right now. Uh, he's our absolute number one priority. Can we unsettle him? Arlen is asked to leave. The release clause is dumb and high. Dunker for 375,000. Daniel, go. We got you for free. We sent you to the B team. Now we just made some money off you. Whatever. Move. Mean fall, looking good, always training well. Boysen, always on that grind as well. This is an absolute mad lad with the, the freaky athleticism. Please just, we'll do three million. I've been trying to get four the whole time. I'll do three. No, really? Nobody's interested in you? They were, they are. Yeah, you know, transfer list, 3.5 million. We'll hold there. Arius, we're gonna hold at 20. We know there's people that see him with that kind of value on the transfer list. Samudio on the transfer list as well. Jovan Draculic. 25-year-old Serbian goalkeeper. We have an issue with you. You are inconsistent, my good man. How could you let this happen? How? How could you let this happen? I'm beside myself. Who could I sign with 1.8 million in my first season at Spazio? Um, a really good scouting department? Uh, well, look, a lot of the wonder kids that you would be able to sign are on a variable potential, so it could be in a range of 30, which means there's no, like, automatically amazing signing. For 1.8 million. Is Liberato Kakase, I think, the, the fullback? It'd be under that. Looking at a... No, he's not available for loan. 
No, unavailable for loan. Out of here. No. Leave. Me 2.5 million, I give him two. I hate that, but I will. Ooh, tough negotiations. Good work. No! Just buy all the armor already, dude. We had a $3 million offer for him at one point. Who's our record signing? Katsikis. 17 million. Oh, we have an Andre Lunin lookup. Let's do that. Andre Lunin. It's a free agent right now. Yo, you got a. Uh, you busy? Where was he? He went. Well, he's Real Madrid for a while. Uh, played sparingly four games, four games, three games. One game, two games. Free move to Elche, where he was a first-team goalkeeper for two years and then fell out of the team after a bad second season. I uh, got put into a backup role, then brought back up to the first team, and then uh, released. So Andre Lunin can join us, actually. Pachuca's George Calderon. Yeah, Victor Shunyavsky. I haven't seen, like, the amazing Russians that you can get sometimes in saves. We just have not seen that. You're fun, Joe Santos. Very athletic, but that's it. You're terrible. Like, really, really, really definitely bad. Viet Wong Do. Keep that scouting going. Vojin Lubyana. Uh... Lyubenovich, who is on Redniki, but looks like he could actually be a stud. That's what we're looking for. And another Serbian just got pitched to us. This is what happens. We signed one Serbian, and then all of a sudden they're all over the place. Gianni Toma. Let me guess. The potential wasn't there, but he does have a lot of current ability. Abdul Mensa. I'm going to float you up towards the top as well, my dude. Because there's some serious potential ballers that we just brought through. Abdul Mensha and... Vojian Lubyanovich. And Boyan Stazic. Uh, Arlen Clayton's still top of the pops, but there is a nice stack of players that we are interested in there. Yes. Starting life in tier 11 football management. Still in the same league after three seasons. I can't get out. No, use your trials. Oh, wow. He just went to Roma. So Lunin is headed to Roma. Uh, we don't know in what role, but he doesn't look like he's great. So that is a bit of a surprise. Okay. New plan. Uh, you're coming back from blisters. Did you get cleared? I don't really remember coming back from blisters. Okay, uh, this is a good time for Lazar Pavlovich to step in. Uh, Arias obviously isn't somebody that we're going to want on the bench right now, and Karl Lainen we're going to drop. Lazar Pavlovich is going to step in to, to play this spot because we know that he can. Jason Cerna is going to be next to him. Uh, Jose Matias is going to step back into the team. No, he's not because Katsikis is fit. Uh, Katsikis is going to step into the team because Katsikis is the future of this club. Okay, you heard it here first. Uh, ball winner on support. We're going to give him a bit more of a free reign because he's good. Avlovich, Mabasso, uh, 
Struggled a little bit to influence the game, so let's give Angel Samudio a go. Pereira and Ja Silva. We will drop Pereira for... No, we need, we need Pereira in this game. Force the opposition outside. We need to defend more narrow, and we need to play our back lower line. No, we don't. No, we don't. We don't need to play that. We just need to play higher and higher. We don't need the super high line of engagement. Philander, Borges, yes. That's what I want. Mabaso, Todorov, Ishin. Ahar's fine. Carbajal is out. So we just go Shivera, I guess. Need a Eurowath for this. We need a Eurowath on the bench. We need the mass murderer off the bench. No, it's Jose Matias. It's not as much a Eurowath as Jose Matias now. A lot could happen before and after this match, but right now what we need to focus on is being able... Well, after this match, there is no more before. But what we need to focus on right now is being able to win this match here. Daher is back and fit, ready to go. Barrientos. Okay, Jose Almeida. I... I know you should be around here. And that's why Clubinho is going to get dropped off from Almeida. Shavira Matias got it. Okay. So not seen much lit, but thought I would quickly jump in to say hey. Hey! I need Clubinho because he gives us a more defensive option that can help there, Timmy Way. More defensive option that can still help with playmaking. That's the key there. More defensive option that can still help with playmaking. Still the change, and then everything else should be good. We've got the counter suppressor on Hell Zamudio. I say had a pretty good season last year, even though we continue to try and move him to open up space. Katsikis, yes, we know he's playing, and we know he needs a number. Uh, how's 29? Nikolaus Katsikis, the debut of our biggest ever signing. Robin Wood, thank you for the 14 months catching up with the VODs, right? This is what I was just read. Thanks for jumping in, Robin, and thank you so much for 14 months as part of the Hammers. Joey Novice, thank you for the two months. Let's go, Hammers. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. And second match of the season, we play Benfica. This is a, an immediate, I encourage you, sort of situation. Lazar Pavlovich has got to start. Nicholas Katsikis has got to start. We're going to find out a lot about uh, a lot about the players on the field today with a road match against Benfica. Let's go, boys. Rebuteo, thank you for the prime. <laughs> Debuts for Pavlovich and Katsikis. Obviously less than ideal, but I think it's the moment we need to get them out there. The Greek Freak is in. Lazar Pavlovich is in. We've got very experienced uh, front three and a very experienced back line that should help. Our midfield is going to need to get comfortable very quickly. Oh, Pavlovich! It's all oh, he's he's on side. Right now, baby. Right now. Cheeky little header by Lazar Pavlovich. I guess he is on side, and Jao Silva steers it in. 
ODFC one, Benfica nil on the road with an assist from Lazar Pavlovich. I want to see this line. Ah, uh, yeah, he is. That one guy just didn't get back in time. Nowhere near the play. Let's go, boys. Doing a really good job of limiting this game. Oh, Daher, Cheeky, Pereira. A running ball for Silva. Oja Silva. Serna. Oh. Pereira was offside, like on the shot by Serna. I hate that call. I hate that call. Good hands, Bonga Kule. Good hands. Just teardrop this to a fullback. You know how to do it. Great work. Right around that pressure they've got in the middle of the park. Boom. Up the side, Zamudio. Every time. Lazar Pavlovich. Nice. Now bring it wide. Ooh. Or to Pereira. I'm liking Lazar Pavlovich early. Our decision to let Arias go to open up some playing time for Lazar Pavlovich, our $10 million signing, looks smart early on. Uh, not like in Cerna, though. 6.5, it's not been good. But, yeah, we've controlled the tempo of this match. Daher picks somebody out. Samudio. Oh, Samudio. Cerna. I was surprised he didn't just volley that. You know he loves the fabulous. Daher. Okay. <sighs> the disrespectful amount of space they give Gamma every time. Hey, okay. Well, he's got 12 crossing. The dude can hit the broad side of a barn. All right, he is able to do that. We've come out. We've set our expectation for what we should be able to do against this Europa League side. Come on, man. Katsikis into the box. Katsikis into the box. Ugh. Making me nervous. Oh, that's uh, Samudio. I don't know what you're doing all the way back there, but that, oh, that's okay with me now. Oh, yeah, on hell. Oh, yeah, on hell. <laughs> right on the five gifteds by Sad Cardinal Noises and Vector Jazzic, Mools, Witty Bandit, and Jake's Pakes. Welcome to the Hammers. Ja Silva's got two. Ja Silva's got two. European golden boy making the difference. Great work by Angel. Got Sikis. Well, they have Ronaldo. That's a bit of an issue. And we just ran into each other. Oh, that could work, Shabalala. That's, that's fine keeping right there. That's fine. I went for the weird little chip. Uncomfortable back there for Shabalala, but he did well. He did well. Oh, yeah. Like that. A lot of yellows over here. Every single person in that square has a yellow. It's all right. Drive ahead. Slow it down. Got options. Cerna. Oh, Daher. Daher! Oh, they, I mean, I couldn't even get excited about that. He did not hit that nearly hard enough. Oh, here we go. Cerna. I hate how they just give up their pursuit once they realize they're not going to get the ball.
Huh. <clears throat> We're good. We're fine. Dude, this wasn't even close. The goalkeeper didn't even move. That means it's not close. Like there was nothing, uh, there was nothing close about that at all. Nothing. He didn't even, it wasn't even towards the goal. Play Eastgren, Samudio. Here we go. Oh, he's got through ball. Silva's in. So, oh, pfft. tried to chip Dahlberg and got stuffed and was offside. That's okay. He's got two goals. What are you going to say? He's got two goals. What are you going to say? He's got two. He's got two goals. All right. Oh, not even. Oh, Samudio. My goodness. Nice hustle. Silva. Right. He flopped his backside off on that one. Gama. Herrera. Oh, it's got him. Excuse me, what? million dl pro actually put in an 82 million dollar offer for him and um he refused the contract well, that was a pretty high xg play if i do say so myself i mean i might not be considered an expert on such matters but it eh, looked pretty high xg to me That looked pretty high XG to me. Just, just saying, you know, I'm just saying it looked like we probably should have been able to score that. Uh, wild. Just anchor, don't run as much. Could see Kish, you're tired. Oh, nice tackle, Nikolaus, and a boy. Might be tired, doesn't stop him from tying up what looks like an obvious chance in front of the goal. That's what I'm saying. Great play, Nikolaus. Great play. Big time players, Nikolaus. Big time players in big time games. Uh, wow. A lot of just get inside. Zamudio is a wing and he had to go inside of you. You have the spatial awareness of a caterpillar. Thank you. Avlovich, good ball. Zamudio, good touch. And back. Katsikis! <laughs> with the velocity oh. well that is a uh, a way to introduce yourself to the odfc faithful to the world nikolaus katsikis you aren't in the greek league anymore my bud good shot Truly an epic Poggers moment. Oh, what a terrible header by Silva. Orientos does well. Shot wide, 3-0. Timmy Way on a 6.1. We finally done it. We finally stopped Timmy Way for one match. The feeling is indescribable, chat. It is indescribable. Kevin. Oh, that was a really good pass, actually. Yes. 
Yes. We just won 3 nothing at Benfica. Nikolaus Gatsiki scores in his debut. What a fabulous result to overturn our brutal 1-1 draw to start the season. <sighs> yes. Handled. We've handled it, chat. Handled it. Very pleasing victory, obviously. Uh, we were given all we could. You know, we, yeah, we got a lot of cards. We got ourselves stuck into a lot of situations. We were trying as hard as we possibly could. Katsiki scores in his debut. Silva still stellar, even though he missed a pretty easy chance. Uh, his debut was that good. Can't wait for the next match. Definitely. Daher had a great game. He's a very good player. And we expect to keep seeing that. Um, not commenting on speculation around Silva. I'm not talking about the Samudio situation and you'd need to ask Samudio about, you know, he wasn't in the side today. Obviously, he's a little upset uh, with the way things have gone in the transfer window for him, but ask him, you ask him about it. I, I can't speak for how he's feeling. You know, he's very in tune with his feelings. Okay. You want to do the new gen faces? Didn't do it after the last youth intake uh, until we're actually scouting somebody that's on it. What's the backstory to YODFC? The name is sick. Oriental Dragon. We were going, I was like, I want to do a lower league, but I want to do it in a country where you don't normally do lower leagues, right? And it was like, let's go to the lowest league in Portugal. And there was a team called Oriental Dragon, and that was it. All right, Evan Minich, have a good loan. 75 million from Leeds, is that so? Okay, bud. Okay, guys. Okay. See, did you see all those those amazing goals he scored? Did you see? Did you see those amazing goals that he scored, right? Did you see the institutional wealth that you could create by putting a giant offer in on him? Please? Oh my god, there's an offer down. Pritone put two million on the table for Amro. We're gonna take that. Oh well, no. No, that's not how that works, man. Eighty million. No. Uh, Porto, you're next. Eighty million. He isn't interested in speaking to Porto anyways. Ja Silva's such a good lad. He really is such a good lad. I mean, my goodness. What a good... What an ODFC player through and through. What a good guy. What? <sighs> He isn't interested in speaking to them. I suppose we can provide the opportunity. Maybe they can sway him with their giant wage offer at Beijing Guan. Well, the fact that this lower division club is going to get a giant payday when we sell him. I doubt he'll accept it, but still. Not worth talking to him about it. He's a team leader and I don't want to anger him. But we can accept it and maybe on the off chance he takes it anyways. <laughs> Go! 
Who will come in to replace Barrientos? He's already on our team. This guy, Jose Almeida. And maybe if he doesn't do it for you, Bakari Dindane is also a very good option. We've got two incredible options at center back, and uh, we need to give them a little breathing room. And I think we need to we need to get our balance up to 70, 80, 100 million uh, so that we have really ridiculous institutional kind of wealth. We can sign whichever wonder kids we come across. Uh, that's definitely a threat. That's a point that I think we could get to. We are sitting on a lot of assets that can make us a lot wealthier than we are. And that's, uh, that's something that does bother me, right? Because I know that we can sell off Barrientos even though we love him, right? We can sell him off and then he'll be good. A good profit, obviously. I mean, we signed him for like nothing. Oh, we've been paid. Yeah, you know, the wages that these other teams give out is ridiculous. Tanasis Brees is the Greek goalkeeper. Hopefully, find somebody to help Katsiki settle in a little bit, but I guess that's not going to be the one to do that. So he seems very expensive and not super high potential. Portman is just one. That's an issue. Thank you. Uh, Almeida is the future. He is. That's true, and we've got the home, the homegrown guys, obviously, a few years away, but our youth intake has finally given us something to work with, uh, given us a very, very good center back to uh, to work with. Pivotal seven days here. It could be. Um, this is Amudio on the market. Uh, Arias, of course, on the market. Just doing some thinking, just doing some thinking. I see just had blisters. He just missed one match. He's fine. I was looking at Heshin, yeah. Because it really is Todorov's time to get that spot. To be around the team, to be playing. It is Todorov's time. And Heshin offers so much when it comes... I mean, he's such a... He's such a particular player. He's... We, we need somebody who can find a pass that nobody else can find. But he, uh, you know, he doesn't offer a ton defensively. He's obviously really tiny. He's just a supremely technical vision merchant. You can kind of get addicted to bringing off, uh, to bringing off the bench. You can kind of get addicted to having him on the bench because you're like, well, now we need to open the game up. We need to unpack the defense, right? But like Todorov would do that too. And he can run with the ball and he can score, right? JJ Men broke his leg. So he's just kind of not around right now. JJ Men broke his leg. Not good enough, and definitely, definitely not good enough. And a left back of some quality. Like end of contract quality, Alberto Kumalo. Well, the first scouting report's solid. He's probably gonna be all right. Elder Saw, maybe. Jeremy Doku, probably not. 
Centurion's in the middle of some giant drama. Hope you are enjoying Indy. I am. We've been able to explore a little bit of the city. Uh, that that has definitely been fun. Uh, we obviously now that we're kind of starting work in earnest. I don't know how much more like you know exploring around Indianapolis we'll be able to do. But Indianapolis has been really fun right now. have been so slammed at work lately and it's honestly just had me thinking about I wish I was being slammed by you. Twinkle Toes, thank you for the 14 months as part of the hammers. Zach, thank you so much for the 15 months as part of the hammers. All right. <clears throat> both appreciate both you guys over a year, you know. I missed something big for sure. Nah, you didn't. Zach's joking. Uh, I was in the bathroom. All right. Uh, I missed some context to this. Nope. Invector! Yes, you have bacon. You have emotes. Get in the subsection of the Discord, too. You're here. You're around. You are in the illustrious hammers. Sup Zed, missed a few streams cause of some uni stuff, but glad to see you have escaped Stacy's clutches. Now, also, why Chris oh. Mola looks like a ball of happy hip noises. Yeah, he is, Reinstar. I, I was surprised you were able to get him. He, he's definitely good. He's on the... He's, in the orbit of the U.S. national team, he, he's that good. And obviously, the U.S. national team getting better. Yeah, why am I? don't think not co not quite copy pasta. Just a bit too much to be a copy pasta that we can get behind. Have you moved in somewhere new? Yeah. No, I just bought a new room and built it in like a week. Attached to the old apartment. Kwang Leong Biao. Hey, hey. Kwang Leong Biao. Look at that. Using those training facilities. Making himself good. We like it. Now we're unhappy with the high amount of strength training we've been asked to do. Okay. Okay. Husband Segadol has moved again. Cool. Uh, Eurowath is on the move. Camilla Mascara is on the move. How much do we pay for Amra? Oh, we got him for free, so I guess it ends up... Ends up being kind of gravy, doesn't it? $45 million bid for Kevin Barrientos. Be wild. Pretty wild. The Verter Brayman's new on the block. Let's see what offers we get.
Kudines Calcio, most reliable $10 million offer in the history of history. Mr. Jimmy Valencia. I actually want to figure out how good you are. I don't want to just get this 24% nonsense that we've gotten two straight times. So if we could pop Jimmy Valencia up to the top of the freaking scouting list. Thank you. I, you, you you're nego What's the point? You're negotiating your transfer away. I accept. Please. It's quite clear. Because you're already negotiating with another club. What in God's green earth is the point of handing in the transfer request after that happens? Porto 4 1 over Gink. Good. We need two teams in the group stage, please. Red Star beat Olympiakos. Wow. Vors. Vors. Okay, they're Ukrainian. I just didn't. I hadn't heard of them. Ike Athens. Is, well, Celtic made the knockout stages of the Champions League, and Ike Athens is over here trying to knock them out before the group stage this time around. I would put that down as a bit of an upset. Jean Ramirez, obviously, keeping an eye on him. He's loan listed. They obviously don't love him there. He's loan listed. Maybe that could be a that could be an opportunity for us just to get our fingers in the pie a little bit. You know, mess around, mess up the the crust a little. He grabs some berries. Uh, they're like what uh, blueberry pie? I really want a blueberry pie right now. That's that's all I'm thinking about is a blueberry pie. Yes, make that offer, Udines Calcio, if you want him. 24 million, thank you. Ayos mio, dude. Ricari Dindane pulled a back muscle. It's all right, man. You're playing the long game. You'll be all right. Watch Barrientos actually take this deal. He had no interest in it. Watch him take the contract and then just like, that's it. That's the last of Kevin Barrientos. That was the last match he ever played. Defensia y Justicia. Ooh, 41 and a half million for Gordon Gill. That does look intriguing. Now I'm gonna let my scouts keep grinding. Ooh, Zagreb Copenhagen. That's gonna be a nice fun second tie too. Somebody got sent off. The drama is peak. Good times in the new signings. Win next gen and European golden boy. The future looks bright. Sheesh, dude. Is XG importance overrated? Not really. Uh, I usually discount penalties from the XG, which is 0.75, uh, because that obviously swings XG hugely, and penalties can kind of happen when they don't really need to happen. And so I discount penalties or like double chances, you know, where like two shots get blocked in quick succession, but they both end up with a lot of XG, stuff like that. Um, but generally, XG is a good guide is what team deserved uh, to win. Now, there is one kind of exception to this, and that is where are you? Uh, look, if I, I might be able to swing something here. 13 million. That's a little high. Loan offer for Bakari Dindane, Daniel Dunker to Ike Athens. Look, we've already accepted. We are not going to mess around with this. We are getting him out. How would that make any sense? I've already accepted a $2 million offer for the guy. Now, if you wanted to put $3 million down on the table, we could talk about this again. But right now, no.
He leans back in disgust. The other, the last piece of that XG conversation is that sometimes you create a ton of small chances, but that's like, it pales in comparison to you've set up, you've set your team up to counter really well, or they've set their team up to counter really well. And so they're creating fewer chances and their XG is lower, but the chances are much more significant. Their XG is 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, and they've had like two of those. And the other team has had 20 shots, but they're all from really far away. So the XG can kind of lie to you there too, where like obviously you could have scored from all those distanced chances, uh, but it wasn't a great opportunity and they got a great opportunity to score. Because the XG can kind of undersell those really clear chances, a bit like a 1v1 with the goalkeeper can come out like a 0.4 or a 0.5 sometimes, and really it should be uh, probably higher than that if you've got a better player up there to finish it. Why right, do we have Ferlin Mindy on the short list? Oh, because he's about to end of contract out. Cristiano Bozzato. This is what trials are for, GM. I keep telling you, man. Face, are we really facing late pressure on that? Are we? Any videos on countering tactics mid-match? Not any video explicitly about countering tactics mid-match. Yeah, we don't have that. I do talk about it in videos, I feel like. We definitely talk about countering tactics in match during videos, but nothing immediately comes to mind. I feel like in our role videos, like we've talked about wingbacks, wingers, and strikers. We've made videos about all the different roles and how you can use them and how you can get the best out of your, you know, that position. Uh, Admitted. What are these offers? Dan Quinn, Ale Nioka. Yeah, it works for me. Boom, boom, boom. They're going to be like, oh my God, renegotiate. The exact same offer. It's a bit of a reach, but we should be able to pull this off. Dan Quinn of Arzim, are they second? Oh, good. That is good. Oh, dude, really? If we've got Danqua teetering around important player stuff, I'm down. Segun Uday. Have fun, man. And he has rejected the contract offer from Southampton and decided to stay at Dortmund. Interesting. The grass isn't always greener. Thoughts on national team management FM can be a load of fun. Load of fun. I wonder if XG factors into the skills of players having it sh having the chance. It does not. No, it does not factor in the skill of the player having the chance. It does not in the game either. Should it clip? Yeah, but then how do you... Quantifying the player and keeper's quality into the XG is just so aggressively complicated. I think you just take like, uh, you know, how good was the chance on a base level? That's what the XG is, and that's what it is right now in the game and in real life. I think that's fine. That works. Jose Carlos Sanchez. This is the end of the line for you. Alexi Diaz Leal. Yeah, you get to stay. We need goalkeepers on our shortlist so we feel like we can trust. Bonga Kool-Aid turning up in the training. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? And then Boysen's hanging around. South Africa's loving us. Lamine Fall as well. We praised those guys last time around, so we're going to leave it this time. Yo, Zed. Hope you good back in work again so losing track of the stream but thought I'd hop in and sub to show the support.
Also are you from the Middle East? Cause you Israeli hot. Hey! See that qualifies as a, I would say as an acceptable pun. I all our Israeli representative. Seems to approve with a Reese face. Murph, thank you for the seven months, dude. You should test if international caps increase the value of a player. I don't need to. They do. International caps increase the value of a player a ton. Ja Silva is a great example of that. The man now demands much higher wages and a much higher price because he plays for Portugal. Marcelinho Walters, Zorio Clayton's... Uh, oh, yeah, his release clause expires at the end of this transfer window, which makes him very interesting. Which means they would probably be willing to take... Well, I mean, look at the, the potential is not, like, great. They are willing to negotiate, but I honestly think we can do better than that. I think Brown is better than that. Marcelino Walters, uh, you said his release clause is about to expire, then I think we're going to jump all over that. Er, wait. They would probably ask for more than that. On Marcelino Walters. He's also a month away from turning 20. I think we just let this go. How old's that report? It's probably old, right? Yeah, it's almost a year old. Our team's gotten a lot better in a year. Okay. His potential would not be that high, and I don't think he's a guy that's worth that. As for the rest of this team, we do have one person that I think we could go in and sign. Um, Mr. Unavailable himself, Richard Brown. All right, Richard. Let's compare with Arlen Clayton. Better physically, better at the speed, not quite as good as a technical attacker, but weirdly better at crossing. He's just lacking first touch and finishing, which I'm going to go ahead and point out is just a little not as important. Right, we've got the passing at 15, the technique at 14 from Arlen Clayton, but on the other side of this, Richard Brown is a fully better athlete than Arlen Clayton. The decision-making of Arlen Clayton is outrageous. The anticipation's really good. The positioning is better. The work rate of Richard Brown, though, is good. So Arlen Clayton, like, tries to make up for his lack of athleticism by being really smart. Joke's on you. That never works. He is a slightly better passer than Richard Brown. What do you guys, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of this? Who would you sign? Arlen Clayton is going to be more expensive, too. Brown's not free. Brown is not free. He's a two million compensation. But, okay, okay. So I'm going to remove those and I'm going to give you 780, James. Is that okay? Because goodness me, this is ridiculous what we've been experiencing. All right, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm nervous about this. I'm going to give you 800,000. Just continue the negotiation. Thank you, dear God. Was it that hard? I just wanted to leave the negotiation just a little bit open. Oh my God, you are really James. James, we've known each other for years, James. You know this guy's not worth too much higher than this. Thank you. A four-year contract for 21-year-old right back Richard Brown is down.
then when you look at like the the comparisons then we've got two fullbacks that we can work with that we feel good about Richard Brown and Bruno Gama we didn't have to pay over the odds to get them but we do have two right backs that can totally play in and around the team and we're waiting for we are waiting for like not gonna do that we're waiting for that great right back to come through that like savior level right back to come through you know we're waiting for that guy who's just like he's better than the rest for him to come through homegrown for europe is fine yeah the other guy's not necessarily much better than gamma either but we need another option you sold lamine didn't have a choice Got as much value out of him as we could. How's JJ Men doing? We should... We'll we'll look. He's just working his way back. No offers for Danqua. Varsim are only... They're willing to give him important player playing time. But they are only willing to pay 90% of his wage. That $3,000 is going to hold this up. Mosqueda for $2 million. You've been a great servant to the club. Uh, you basically came in, went on loan for a year, and we flipped you out for $2 million. I feel okay about that, Camillo. I'm not going to lie. Uh, okay. There is Zhong Zhong Min. He's battling, you know, he's battling. Uh, he's still... He's got uh, three weeks to two months getting back from that broken lower leg. But he's he's battling. He'll get back. He'll get back. We still, we still love him. The broken leg at the World Cup is, it's a tough way to go. That is a bitter pill to swallow for JJ Min. That is a bitter pill to swallow. Cool Halo. Thank you for the two months of the tier one, dude. Wow. Thank you. The two months of the tier one. Yes. The chat. We are going to head off today. Our 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. schedule is going to have to hold because then we have work after it. We will be doing the same thing tomorrow, the 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So I hope to see you there. We're also going to raid right now and uh, looking forward to that. Xanthan, and thank you so much for all the gifteds. Eagles, thank you for all the gifteds. And thank you to everybody that became part of the Hammers. I know, Sag. I know, Sag. Sag. But we are headed off. I work in the evenings. We stream and make videos in the morning. So here we are. JJ will be back stronger after the injury like Tom Brady or, or Goku. Yes, I believe. Uh, so there is, you know, normally we just kind of ended whenever we wanted. There is kind of a solid four-hour window that we stream in. Who are we rating? I don't know. Who are we rating? Excellent question. Let me hit football manager. And we're going to raid Tom. I feel like we haven't had the opportunity to raid Tom in forever because for some reason I never see him on. But get your copy pasta ready, Chad. We are raiding Tom. And if you've not seen the video that came out today, uh, we sat down and went through the analytics again to assess how accurate our 100 simulations of the Euros on Football Manager actually was. What were the least likely results in the entire tournament? Cool things like that. So check that video out if you've not done that already. Uh, and thank you to everybody that was here today, everybody that's part of the Hammers that allows uh, me to consider the doing this full time once my internship is is done. And just doing the freelance play by play, of course, is that something that we'll always be doing. But, you know, being able to afford <laughs> editors as expensive as I all over here, right? Seriously. Thank you to everybody that's part of the Hammers. An elite online gaming.